I don't know. I don't know what it is. It's adorable, Paula. It's so cute. Mono's here. Hello. Hey. Oh, there's Susan. Good. Hi. Hi. You go back. Susan figured it out. Good job. <laughs> She'll be an expert at. We've trained more people on how to use Zoom than you can imagine. <laughs> well, you yeah. know, it's like I actively avoided it during the shutdown. So this is the first time. You gotta be kidding me. No. Oh, I'm man. Really I, and that this is the life. first time I've done an interactive multiple people. Oh, I'd go, gone crazy by now. I, yeah, I hide. Because <laughs> I am crazy. Um, all right. So I'm going to, who has not done uh, the co-hosting? that has the capability on their computer to do it. Oh, here comes Vincent. Anybody not done it before? I'm not I sure. haven't, but I can't do it tonight. because my. Okay. I'm not sure if I, but let's see, what, what would I have to do to have the co-hosting capability? Um, you have to be able to mute everybody and you have to be able to let people in there. You could do it, let's put you in. You can have it for half the night when you're here. So here we go. That's probably why you haven't done this because and you'll have more capability to see things that are happening on your screen. Do your screen at the bottom has changed? Do you see that? Security. Oh, breakout, breakout rooms. Room. Okay, so now there's breakout rooms. Was there any? You'll difference? be able to hop between rooms if you need to. You okay. can let people in the room if you want to. Um, could you let my cat out? He's standing here going, I don't know how to figure out how to move through, open the door, even though it's open two inches. No, I guess he's changed his mind. Okay. All right. Okay. So here we go. Um, we are in season one, um, season four, game 165. Let's find out what team names we have. Carolyn, Celia, Bob, Karen, and Troy. What's your team name? Our, so team, our team name is a tribute, um, is thanks to a, a group called Emma's Revolution. And our name is He's indicted and it feels so, so good. good. <laughs> <laughs> I put it in the chat with the music emoji. Yeah, she's got and, it. She's and got it. You have to sing it every time. So yes. I can do that. Yeah. yeah. What is it, Hamilton? Yeah. Jim's supposed to be letting you out. Jim, and, you're not letting the cat out. If he answers, Susan, we'll be right <laughs> over with a white van. <laughs> when you sing it, do it justice. Okay. Bill Brandy. Oh, I just got that. Okay. Bill, Brandy, Jamie, Kyle, and Mono. We're team three, right? You're team two. Yeah, team three. Yeah, three. Oh, Gail is three. Yeah. So Bill, Brandy, Jane from Oregon, Rob, and Ron. Uh, wait. Okay. That, that was Rob. You're putting it up, aren't you? They're the empty string this week. Gail was about to say something, so I didn't Their want to team name her. is Crickets Chirping. What'd you say, Gail? I'm not this, we're team three. This is this is our team, Rob. Okay. I didn't I wasn't confused. Yes. Uh we, we are Just, did, did they forget to tell Trump he has the right to remain silent? <laughs> I want him to talk and talk and, and talk. talk. And talk. <laughs> it's been <laughs> glorious. And you know they're just getting all that tape. Could Gail. you believe this group would be saying that? Yeah. <laughs> I know rules. Alan, Gail, JP, Kyle, and Mono. We have as much color vision as an elephant. <laughs> <laughs> Cindy, JP, Caspian, Lee, and Peggy. Sorry, we are. We are muted. <laughs> Hello? I'm muted now. Can you hear me? Yeah. You, you, you muted that. yourself just as you started saying and then it Oh, unmuted. sorry. Uh, I was trying to also not unmute for long because the dog's going nuts. Orcas no. grab a bite? Orcas grab a bite. Ooh. Okay. Dark. Very dark. Uh, Jim, Carl, Kevin, Susan, Frank, Wendy, and Paula. It, it was. I'll add it. Face. What was it? it was at. Uh, I'll paste it. Uh, well, we're we going with this one. 
Ed Bezos. Oh yeah. Cage match and hope somehow they all lose. Yes, that's the one we. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Ed Bezos about. and make make it a three way cage match and I hope somehow, hope they, somehow all they all lose. <clears throat> oh wait, I'm not sure. I, I get it. I don't get it. You haven't heard about the Zuckerberg Elon Musk cage match? No. Apparently, supposedly they've agreed to fight the cage match. Zuckerberg and who? Elon Musk. Elon Musk. Elon Musk. Elon Musk. Why? Because it's funny, Stu. It's a meme. Yeah. Just, I put, I put my money on each other. I put my money on Zuckerberg really because other. he's actually an android. Let's see if there's a. <laughs> well, let's see. I guess. And, Musk, they can, and then if they add Bezos, then they can put it on Amazon Prime. Let's see. Yeah. There you go. Oh. Oh, they're just trying to stay uh, in unless, the Unless video. McCoy gives uh, uh, Musk a triox compound shot, Rob. Should be on the WWF. <laughs> Let's get ready to rumble. That is weird. Okay, so super glad that nobody came up with anything really, really, really dark about the um, about the Titanic. That's just so sad. Like we were so calling like the Titanic Orca Zero, Titan Zero. No, the Orca one is referring to Orca fighting the boat. Uh -huh. Yeah, not, that's not, not about that's not, not about the story. Story. I, I know. I'm glad. We can't be sure the Orcas could have did it. Yeah. Well, I can't go that deep. Yeah. I've They're been really um, aggressive on just hacking. Anybody shit. else listen to the daily today? Besides probably Wendy. Wendy, did you listen to the daily podcast? I always listen. Which I forgot what it was it's about. Today's. This one was about uh, about the Titan and all that. And it yeah, really, did. yeah, really it, did like before, it was recorded before the before they realized the bodies. That, I mean, not found the bodies, but realized for sure. But it's, yeah. he really makes the case. And there's been a couple other experts that have been on MSNBC and other places. The making the case that yeah, I know these a bunch of billionaires and all that, but really what happens is they they push us ahead as far as uh, technology and um, it takes money to to get people to push into it, and and I just I can't I have yeah. just been fixated on this. I feel so horrible about the what those parents, those families that just oh my gosh, the idea of thinking that they might have been suffering is just. I, I can't even imagine being like locked in something like that, knowing your air is running out. But well, 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 the bad thing is they probably they, didn't. They probably they died instantaneously. No, no, no. It's probably over like that. Yeah. If, it, if yeah. it was a catastrophic implosion, they yeah. all died instantly. Yeah, yeah. I'm sure that's what happened. I, ju that's I just the only relief I have. I just, I just saw a video by Cameron and, and it reminded me in the very beginning of Titanic, when the protagonist of the movie, I forgot his name, they're on the dive at Titanic, he's recording out the window. And, he, and he's describing the structure of the ship they're in. He says, if a tiny fracture happens, we will die in an instant. And yeah, that's what happened. Right. So so my point is, is that it yes, they're billionaires and all that. And we have a lot of hard time believing somebody gets paid $250, $250,000 to do something for a couple hours. But um, I mean, I don't want to send poor people. <laughs> oh, let the poor kids go this time. No, but the idea is that it really does spur innovation. And look at how much knowledge we have right now in the last week about submersibles and the deep ocean and how powerful the ocean is. And and they said that that scientists have been been going down with these people, going there and and doing things. And there's so much science by a lot. Um, um, yeah, but these guys cut corners. They built that thing in a freaking garage or something. Well, yeah. no, that's not quite no. that. No, no, they, no, they used they used a new technology which Cameron actually did rail against. And I remember when they started making spacecraft parts out of out of uh, carbon fiber, and I thought that was like because we're used to aluminum and titanium, and that's what he was saying. This is not a safe thing to do because it just will instantly delaminate if there's a tiniest flaw. Right. Well, the point is. Uh, I'm glad you guys didn't go down the dark uh, path of uh, the billionaire problems. I've been seeing that online. It just makes me really uncomfortable. And so I have a feeling they're alive. I have a picture there. <laughs> yeah. <they're laughs> okay. So here we go. Now uh, we have a new player tonight, and this is Susan. It's kind of weird good, when people yeah. keep referring to her as Susan, and I keep saying, yeah. <laughs> But that's okay. I'll get over it. She'll get over it. We'll we'll deal with it. We've been around a lot of Susans over the years, I'm sure. Right, Susan? Yes. Yeah. Do, 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 do you do you like Susie, Susan? No. Okay. <laughs> How about Sue? No. No. Sorry. For Susan. Susan. You just have to figure it out. Okay. Only ever Susan. 
Yeah. I was, I grew up in Salinas and people called me Susie. Me too, but I, all, all would... my, all my neighbors did, but I, I only reserve that for only people who are just sometimes Wendy calls me Suze or Susie sometimes, but th Suze. And that's okay. No, I don't call you Susie. I've never called you Susie. Okay, call me Suze. Suze. But I don't, but my well, name is Suze. Suze. Name you can call me, you know what? The best thing to call me is Gerbic. That's that I, <laughs> that's perfect. I call myself that all the time. All right, so we're going to go with, we're going to start the game. It's game number 165, first, first, second game of the year. We're in season four, believe it or not. And what we're going to do, hopefully everybody has worn season, what is going to happen. And we've got five different people who are going to be giving categories tonight. First off is Carolyn. You're ready to go. I've given you your, your breakout room permissions and everything, Carolyn. Next up is Rob. Then it's going to be Gail. Caspian is going to be fourth. And then Kevin, you've got the bonus. Is, is that right? Yep. Okay. And then I have nobody for the following week and I will not be here for the following week because I will be, no, no, I will be here. No. It's the week after that. I won't be here. Yeah. First week in July. Yeah. First week in July. I'm not here. I'm going to be in, in um, LA at the magic castle and there will be impossible for me to have any kind of internet. Would you just drop Carl? I don't know. You know us. We don't YouTube something. We don't open up weird things like that. Give me an Anheuser Busch Natural Light. Just saying that. <laughs> I'll look at it in a minute. Okay. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to let Carolyn uh, do her thing. The person who's in charge of uh, the trolls and all that kind of stuff tonight is Jim. Very first time doing it. Jim, um, to Good mute luck, everybody, Jim. you go to. Great. Where do you go? Participants? No. Where do you go to? Participants, yeah. yeah. Do you see the participants button at the very bottom of your screen, Jim? Okay. Okay. Uh, copy invite link. Okay, participants. Oh, there's 28 of us? Wow. Oh, mute all. Okay, okay so I don't see. do it yet. Let Carolyn say her category so we could groan. And when you let, when you mute everybody, <laughs> don't make it so that we can't unmute ourselves. But count to three or something so that it doesn't cut off the person in the middle of their little talking. Right. By the way, by the way, uh, Garbic. Um, so yeah. you said so you said you're not available the first week of July. Are we not having a game? Of course, we're having a game. <gasps> we assume you're running it, Rob. Just wanted to make that clear. Okay. Yeah, Rob, do you or Ben, will you be able to run it? Yeah, uh, yeah, I agree to it. Okay. Yay, Thank Rob. You, Rob. Thank you, Rob. All I right. Can do it around next week, Susan. Okay. Miss Garbic, don't forget yes. to put me in a team. Yes, sir. I was sure will. Okay. I will not forget you. There's no way of forgetting you. Okay, Carol. Right, you said? Said, please. Come on, Vincent is unbeatable. Okay. So these are random movies, but they're they do have something in common. Ooh. Oh. My favorite. What do you want to call it? Random you movies? Could. Random movies, yeah. Okay. And we figure out the common ality. Okay, so now I mute everybody. Wait, could count to three or something. One, two, three. There. Oh, I guess. Remind, so. remind Carolyn to unmute herself. I'm, I'm just, unmuted. And just I'm so muted. you know, it doesn't mute the person who did the mute all. Yeah, so Jim, you're not muted. I, know, I noticed I think, that I wasn't muted, so I, so, so I muted myself. Cool. Okay. Number one. This 1985 movie is a fantasy thriller starring Christopher Walken. It tells the story of an archangel Gabriel searching for an evil soul on earth and a police detective who gets caught in the middle of an angelic civil war. It had four sequels. Could we ask her to put the message up trying, before you read I'm it? Trying. I it's I'm getting a spinny wheel. I'm trying to paste it and it's for some reason it doesn't want to. Your video is frozen also. You might want to uh, stop your video feed. Okay. Yeah. And then you okay. should be able to have more power. Is it in now? No. Hmm. Is it how it now? Goes. It's in yeah. now. Okay. Number two. I will put it in first, I guess.
Is it in? Yes. Okay. This 1998 crime thriller, which is a loose remake of a 1954 Hitchcock film, stars Michael Douglas and Gwyneth Paltrow, our favorite person. A Wall Street financier is married to a younger wealthy wife, and while he's considering accessing her fortune to cover his losses, she's thinking of leaving him for a painter who is actually an ex-convict who cons rich women out of money. The husband hires him to kill her for him to enjoy, avoid jail, and then the fun ensues. That's Number three. This 2000 comedy drama film stars Sandra Bullock as a newspaper columnist who, much go, who must go to rehabilitation for alcoholism after she and her boyfriend ruin her sister's wedding and steal and crash a limousine. She eventually is convinced she has a problem and is committed to restore her relationship with her sister and dump her boyfriend. Number, uh, number four. This 2007 critically acclaimed gangster film tells the story of Anna, played by Naomi Watts, who delivers the baby of a young Russian prostitute who dies, who dies in childbirth. After Anna learns the mother had been forced into prostitution by the Russian mafia in London, the baby's life is threatened and Anna is warned off by the mafia leader's henchmen. Eventually, after a lot of violence, Anna gains custody of the baby. Number five. This 2001 epic fantasy adventure set, set in Middle Earth, I forgot an in there, sorry, tells the story of Frodo Baggins and friends trying to get rid of a precious but problematic ring he inherited. I want the complete title of this first film of the trilogy. Number six. This 2018 biographical comedy drama is inspired by the true story of a 1962 tour of the Deep South by African American pianist Don Shirley and bouncer Frank Balanogia, <laughs> who served as uh, Shirley's driver and bodyguard. Number seven is coming up. This 1997 action drama film tells the fictional story of the first woman to undergo special operations training similar to the U.S. Navy SEALs. Although it got favorable reviews, Demi Moore got a Razzie Award for Worst Actress, and it was a box, on, box office bomb. Number eight is coming up. This 2016 comedy drama film tells the story of a family forced to reintegrate into society after living in isolation for a decade. The parents are former left-wing anarchists disillusioned with capitalism and American life. They and their six children live in the Washington wilderness until the wife dies by suicide while undergoing treatment for bipolar disorder. Her father plans a Christian burial despite her wishes, and her husband takes his family on a road trip to crash her funeral. That's a comedy? Hi. There's funny parts in it. Huh? Hello. Hi. Okay, number nine. Number nine? Number nine. 
This 2009 post-apocalyptic survival film based on a novel by Cormac McCarthy tells the story of a man and his young son's struggle to survive after a mass extinction event. They travel toward the coast in hope of finding a safe haven, avoiding cannibalistic gangs and scavenging for supplies on their harrowing journey. And finally, finally, Number 10. This 1985 neo-noir crime thriller starring Harrison Ford focuses on a police detective protecting an Amish woman and her young son after the boy sees a brutal murder in a Philadelphia train station. Any questions? So is there a central theme? Yeah. They all have something in common. Besides being movies. Yes. It's movies. Oh, I'm sorry. It's random movies. So. And what right. you want is titles for all of them, right? Yeah. Yeah. I, I just want titles. Yeah. Hey, Jim, do you want to send us to our rooms? Because I know you've never done that before. So go to breakout rooms. And then it says open all rooms on the bottom right hand corner in blue. Okay. Uh, oh, there's the. Oops. And I can bounce to room to room now, right? You Just sure going. Can. Okay. Uh, okay. They're putting Break you to work, rooms. Jim. That's Open very all good. rooms. There it says. There you go. Now I'll put Paula and Vincent in their rooms. So oh. I'll be in my room in a minute. Paula, you are going to be in five. Vincent, you are going to go to. We have as much color vision as an elephant. Cool. And here comes Kevin. And Kevin, you are going to five. Okay, so we're set. Everybody's got their Caspian and Jamie. Set. Mirror. I don't mind. You don't mind? Okay, thank you for being scribed then. Hi, yeah. people. Hello, person. I didn't write. Okay. I have no idea what one is. It sort of sounds familiar, doesn't it? I can't. Yeah. A lot of these seem familiar, but I, I don't know. I'm ask Mark. I'm trying to think. Yeah, it seems familiar. Um, okay. Should we go through and just do the ones that we believe we know, and then we'll know how many yeah. we have to play with? Yeah, Number right. We'll discuss the ones. <laughs> one through them. Number two. Oh. One, no one has any idea about one, huh? No. Number two. Um, uh, I keep thinking about the original Hitchcock one, because I haven't, I can't it's, think of the title, though, but I have an image in my mind. I, um. It's, do you want me to say it or do you want to think? The, the original Hitchcock one? Well, or the answer to two. What would be uh, Do you know the Hitchcock one? I'm no, I know the answer to this question though. Oh, okay. Oh, so. right, maybe the answer will might clue me on that. For some reason, I'm more interested in the Hitchcock one. <laughs> oh, spit it out. Come on. A, a perfect yeah. murder. A perfect murder. A perfect murder. Okay. Who's playing drums? I don't know. My my wife, it, my son oh. bought a drum set. Oh. And okay. so she plays with it. And, and then I, I know number three. I can, but, okay, I can what's read. that? 28 days. Oh, yeah, I think I've heard of that. I didn't see it. Yeah, that's what I thought it was. Okay. Yeah, I wasn't, I wasn't, um, all right, and then body number four, no idea, nope. uh, all right, who knows, well, it's the Lord of the Rings, but she says she wants a complete title, isn't the there fellowship. more to it than, the Fellowship of the Ring, ah, that's it, thank you, I'll mute, unless I have something to say, okay, this one's the green book. 
I, I, oh, I was going to say, I think it's the one I knew, the, the Green Book. Oh, okay. is that what it was? I thought it was called The Pianist. No. So, no, so that's so Troy, for number five, Troy, the title is The Lord of the Rings, Colin, The Fellowship of the Ring. Oh, very good. Yeah. And and that's what Bob said. It just kind of got lost. Ah, in the drumming. Yes. So the number six is the Green Book? Yeah. Yeah. yeah the, um, the Green Book was an actual guide for um, Black people to be able to travel around the U.S. safely. It was sort of put together as, you know, who were friendly houses, what hotel wouldn't kick you out. Oh, I didn't yeah. know that. Yeah, that was actually that was actually a, a guidebook for African Americans at a time when, you know, they could get killed just driving through the country. So it was uh driving, you know, tra trying to travel. So and the movie and the movie got criticism because I mean, good that it educated a lot of people about the existence of the Green Book and another layer of how we become more anti racist, but it was kind of a white savior the way they laid out the story. Yeah exactly oh that the white people were actually good or something well right it was the white yeah, that was that was getting the 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 black guy th through safely and that, mm -hmm. that you know mm -hmm. and it, it, was, it really wasn't based on the, the green book was about you know african-american families traveling and using this book it was actually a printed physical book as yeah. a guide to be able to get you know yeah it was based on a true true story it was based on real real characters yeah. a real situation so number seven, it's called Sergeant something, isn't it? G.I. Uh, isn't it G.I. Oh, Jane? G.I. Jane, that's it. Yeah, okay. that's it. Yeah, I bet that's it. Yeah, thank you. That's it. I didn't see it. Um, I don't know. Wait. Was that about the, the, um, the number eight? Was that about the, um, the weathermen? Remember that 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 left wing group? Oh, I remember the group. I don't remember this movie, and it was 2016. So I don't remember the movie at all. But I'm wondering if it was about or based on the weathermen that were definitely living undercover. And yeah, they did go into hiding after all. Yeah, uh, I but don't remember doesn't... a movie called The Weathermen or anything like well, that. Well, I don't know that that was the title. I'm just trying to. Okay. So I know that I know the last two, and then we might be able to figure out the others. If oh we yeah, can figure out what these all have in common. Good. So nine is uh... the road. Oh, I've never heard of it. I never heard of that. Not a long shot. Seems like all this, all these films are sort of under excruciating circumstances. Well, they, that could be they the travels like the Lord of the Rings okay. traveling. One more. One more, and then we can maybe okay. see what we know. Okay. I've heard of this one. Don't they fall in love or something like that? Of course. They I, have sex. I, with an <laughs> Amish woman? Hey, they only receive an eighth grade education. Okay. Good... It's called Witness. Oh, Witness. that's it. Yeah, okay. Thank you. So for sure we know those. What yeah. can what do we know about these? films that they might perfect, have in common perfect murder 28 days fellowship of the ring the green book gi jane the road and witness it hmm. does seem like there's some pretty trying circumstances well, look at the first it, letter of each does it spell something no i was wondering is it could it be the same actors or same producers or same somebody in the films i don't know it's spread out over a pretty, pretty wide. Uh, yeah, area. yeah, like from 1985 to 2016. Well, that would be somebody who's played in a lot of things. Could it be? Um, I don't never know actors, but um, there's it. There's okay. Let's just go number one here. This thing has four sequels. That's a five, five um, movies on the same thread. Surely we should be able to figure it out. Are, are we doing any questions? No, we, we weren't able to figure. We have all but three, and we couldn't figure out what the seven have in common, so we're just going to fill in the ones we don't know. 
Deborah is going to go into. There, there is a theme, and I feel like if we get that theme, it'll help us. Yeah. Uh, what do they have in common? What does she said they do? Her words were, "They do have something in common." Is what she said. Well, witness and Lord of the Rings. Um, and and I never saw the Ring book, but it's also about like a journey, like a and the road where these people are traveling distances and stuff like that. Isn't does that sound like I mean because so like on number nine, they're traveling to find a safe haven. Um, the Lord of the Rings, they're traveling to get to get rid of the ring. And number six, they're traveling to get get uh, to freedom. Right. Witness, I don't know, are they traveling? He's traveling up, up her skirt and into her <laughs> nether yeah, region. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, uh, you're you're I, like a... You're like a surprise party. You just I don't, you don't, feel, she's you don't feel coming. Yeah. So I don't see that there's a theme on the movies. That's why I'm thinking maybe there's a actor or a writer or somebody who's had a long history that's in each of these. Who produced them? No idea. They're not they're not Spielberg, right? Mm -mm. No. Who did the Lord of the Rings? We should know that. Peter Jackson. Okay. Did he have anything to do with those other movies? No, not that I know of. He, his first movie was in the 90s. He's from New Zealand. I mean, these are crime thrillers and comedy dramas and a gangster film, so they don't even have that in common. Could the main actor, the main character all have the same first name or something? Or Did they all get Academy Awards or something? No. Oh, I God. bet they're all skipped. None of them got an Academy Award or nothing. I bet they're, they're highly... But they're not good. G.I. Jane was shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, it says it says it was a box office. Well, um, were they actually, in a way... Oh, no. The Lord of the Rings was certainly a success. I was going to say, in, in, in a lot of ways, a lot of these movies did come, did bomb. I don't think the Lord of the Rings ever did get... Um, best anything i mean it didn't get nominated no but i certainly couldn't we couldn't call it a box office bomb no um well some of these others must have been famous i've heard of gi jane even though i didn't but it was a it was bad and witness and the green was... book had got a lot of criticism for the reason karen mentioned well i liked it and and it's not that they're sequels right because mm -mm. could they all be based on a book that could be because um because the road is but based on a book, but doesn't one of her clues say that it's based on the book? Uh, yeah, the 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 road Perfect murder is based on the Hitchcock film. Let's put based on a book as a let's or well, well no, it's it is doesn't it, count based on a book. As a placeholder. Well, no, I mean I'm, i we, there's no category that what is the yeah, problem. that's true. It's not but a that, question. That, but that may make sense. That's pretty common for most movies, isn't it? A oh, lot of them. Yeah, a lot. Yeah, not a much lot. of a hint, though. Mm -hmm. And number two specifically says it's based on a film, but that doesn't mean the first film wasn't based on a book. Right. That's yeah. true. But Hitchcock yeah. took a lot of movies from his from books. What about, we just put for the series, put James Bond. Is, but no, he never played James Bond. <gasps> no, it's it's got some... Fantasy it sounds, thriller. It's, it's yeah, it sounds so familiar. It's like a you know, Archer, yeah, it's not it's not science fiction, but it's got, an evil soul on earth. It's caught. God, I really feel like I should know that. Yeah, it had four sequels. And that was 85. How could we have missed five films and have no <laughs> I know. Um fantasy what fantasy movies have had see five four sequels christopher walken well lord of the rings had a few didn't it 
Yeah. All I can think of is him and James Bond, but that's not a fantasy thriller. Uh, <clears throat> Lord of the Rings is is one big it's the entire three books. You book know what? Though. She sa- so here's the, the hint. Here's the hint. She says I need the full name of the answer for five. We got it. No, I know. But normally people would just say the Lord of the Rings, right? That's like what would just come off the top of your head. So the important part. Don't is read Fellowship too much into that. I'm telling you, I'm just don't read too much into that. No, it's just that particular <laughs> don't one. Don't overthink it. Just don't yeah. overthink that. Don't read in, you know. But we're, yeah. we're skeptics. We have to. <laughs> I was thinking I'm, I'm trying to help you. Because the Fellowship um, of the Ring is the key part. Yeah, that, that part of the. But if okay, she again, to okay. Into it. again, these are random movies, random, just different genres, different everything. They just happen to have something in common. Were, yeah, well, we were trying to figure saw out them all. Last so none of them, don't, don't, over, don't, don't try to overthink it. They just none of them to have won it. Academy Awards, or is that? She can't tell us. She can't and tell She you, can't but... tell us, but is that too vague? Is that too... No, that would be a possibility, but, you yeah, know. That would be... None of them won Academy Awards. People. Okay, number eight. I would, red... help you, I would help you more, but other other rooms have, have their no, teams. Have... Yeah, 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 I know. It's not fair. Yeah. Have they figured oh, it out? I... Carolyn, when they, I... When they figured I out the around, theme. Right? Otherwise, I would, I would go back and I would help a couple more people things but i can't because I, somebody figured it out i just mute myself and uh turn my camera off usually and just pretend i'm not there what i do no. I I pretend I'm not there the up. okay do you want me to give you another minute or do i close yeah, out now right. and how do i do that because i don't it's know how to okay. do that. all right for 1985 put tootsie just so we have some answer there we have tootsie so, um Carolyn, <laughs> you just go to the breakout rooms and hit close all rooms, and we all have two minutes. So I guess so, because we're we're kind of yeah. stuck. Okay, yeah. I think we got what we're going to close all rooms. Yeah. And then okay. Like we're, we don't confirm. get it in two minutes. We we're not going to do it. Why would y'all think Tootsie? <laughs> it's just to put no, something. Don't. I don't want to blank. She doesn't want then do I do I leave the breakout room now? Is that what I do? You can. Yeah, leave, leave it. Let us room. talk. Okay. Okay, people just, don't say mean ready. things about me though. Did y'all oh, no. notice the stuff I put in red or not? Still in crash limousine. Okay. Right. Limousine. Trying, Trying to get, to rid, get, of get of rid of here's the driver, journey. Driver, okay, driver, a road, road trip, trip a journey, and a train, train station. station. Well, yeah, Susan had been getting at that. That was sort of about travel. Oh, going for somewhere God. traveling. Well, come on, Troy, tell us then. We've got 75 seconds. <laughs> okay, number number one, Tootsie. Number four, um, the, the Green the Mile. Gang, the Gangster. Number eight, um, um, Murder, he, he wrote. Murder, he wrote. Oh, no. <laughs> but I think Troy's got the theme. I'm just... I mean, I'm I Thelma and Louise. Thelma and Louise, because there's a journey journey in that. Okay, put that. That's it, not. It has nothing to do with it. Okay, but Celia, the point is, we have nothing. You can still pawn. You can still substitute it with something else if you like. But we have thirty seconds. I was going to say, Karen doesn't like blanks. It's live. I ammo don't like blanks. <laughs> live ammo or nothing. All right. All right. <laughs> I still feel like we got that theme that would help us get the movies, but well, I think it sounds like it was an accidental theme almost. She like pulled out ten movies and then said, "Oh wow, look, they all have something in common." Maybe it's like she saw them or something. <laughs> get any of them? Yeah, we got, we got answers for all of them. Yeah, we have answers for all of them. Some of them are total guesses. Yeah. Yeah, if you can make, you know, make up stuff. Oh. If you need to. Oh, just can't blank, blank spot. Yeah, a bunch of wrong answers. <laughs> yeah, well. Okay. All right, so, Karen, you stumped our team at least. Okay. All right, ready for the answers? I don't have to copy and paste these, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. could you do that? Because we, I, I don't know about you guys. I'm still not getting anything. Carl's trying to give us a hint. He figured it out, of course. 
Okay, but you ahead. can you can put the answers oh, in the chat after. Yeah, I got it wrong. Okay, okay, I'll put them in. I'll put in the chat afterwards. Probably then. I thought yeah. it was communion. It's prophecy. Okay. Oh, All right. Number I'm one. Sorry. I don't need to reread them, right? We can just no, give no. answers. No, just the answers. All right. Good. Okay. Number one. The prophecy. Oh. I'm glad we didn't keep trying to guess because I'd never heard of that movie. Are you sure it's not Tootsie? <laughs> oh, you're, you're confusing sure. it with Mrs. Doubtfire, Karen. <laughs> Number two is a perfect murder. And I did hear somebody get this, so I was we got it. Number three is 28 days. I think my team is going to do a perfect murder on me for number one. <laughs> number four. No, we hope not. Number four, The Lord of the Rings, The Fellowship of the Ring. Five, no, five. that's number five. Five. Number, five. number five. Oh, really? Oh, what happened here? Huh. Four, four is this 2007 critically acclaimed gangster film. Okay, number four is then I screwed something up. Sorry. Number four is Eastern Promises. Never heard of it. Oh, I feel good about not knowing them. I mean, if I don't, I've never heard of it before, it's okay. Okay, number six is Green Book. Yeah. Yay. Number seven is G.I. Jane. Mm -hmm. Number eight, and someone did get this, Captain Fantastic. Oh, oh I've never heard of that either. You I never, heard, I never heard of it. If you wrote yeah. out gastrointestinal, Jane. <laughs> you wanted to. I, sure, why not? Did you say Captain <laughs> Fantastic? Number nine is The Road. And number 10 is Witness. Now, if somebody said the <laughs> witness. I'm not. I will, nope. I will take. Yes, I will. Because no, nope. it's the wrong name. <laughs> okay, witness. Sorry, I've been corrected. It's witness. We Damn it! Witness. <laughs> you, can control it. you control it. It's your decision. Although if we did got witness, it, oh, so Don't let Karen bully you. If somebody if got Karen it, is such a bully, right. I never saw this aspect of her. Do <laughs> <laughs> we get an extra point for the theme? No. So the theme did it? I I know at least one team got it. And that is the actor Vigo Mortensen starred in all of them. Oh, oh, my God. oh. Who oh he, he, he was in all of them. I don't know if he starred in all of them. What? Vigo Mortensen he had major roles. And Carolyn's heart, he starred in all of them. Vigo <laughs> Mortensen was not in Prophecy. Prophecy was 1985. He was Lucifer. He was, he was Lucifer. Lucifer. He was Thank Lucifer. you very much. What? Thank Prophecy you. was oh. that in 1995. So who is that? So in case you're not looking, <laughs> please look. Somebody has, Carolyn has a picture of herself, I believe, with, but it's hard to see, with Vigo. Oh, put it up to the cool. camera, though. Oh. You have to hold it right up to the camera, <laughs> Carolyn. Yeah, yeah. I don't know if it, it doesn't do it. <laughs> you did it with oh, it. Off the uh, background. Wow. Yeah. Where did you meet him, Carolyn? And... Upstate New York. He's actually from Watertown, New York. And my husband was doing a lot of things with the union at the time. And he was helping out a candidate up there, Bob Johnson, um, for Congress. And so he actually came and he donated some movie things, you know, signed DVDs and whatnot. So I was able to meet him at that um, event. And, it was and he cool. asked you for a picture? And he's got it he on his so desk at home. Impressed too. with me, yes. But I, I kind of joke about um, orbs. You know, like Kenny Biddle's favorite thing. Uh -huh. You can't see it from here, but there is an orb in the picture, and I always joke that that is my soul leaving my body at that moment. <laughs> so, <laughs> so Can you spell me his name? I want to. I want to. What's that? I don't know. No, think so. that that's not Carolyn, you see enough of his name. Mortensen. So, in the Mortensen. This is the worst part of the trivia is everybody tries to answer me at once. What's his first name? 
Vigo. Vigo. V i g g o. It's, a, it's in the chat. As, as, I, as I call him, Aragorn. So. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> oh, is that him? Yes. Yeah. And he's actually a sane person too, because the other guy that kind of looks like him, um, what's his name? Jim Caviezel. No, no, he's an insane person. Um, he <laughs> did, you got to narrow that down. He did the Hercules. Uh, oh, Kevin Sorbo. <laughs> Kevin Sorbo. Yeah, no, Kevin Sorbo. Sorbo. Yeah. yeah. No, I think they look no. alike. No. They. They. No, so they're like both I male. Guess. Two yeah, eyes, a nose, a mouth. Wow. They both seem like yeah. they would pose for the cover of a romance novel. <laughs> <laughs> Carolyn, Carolyn, uh, one Viggo Mortensen film is a history of violence, which I thought was very good. I, uh, you didn't include that. Yes, that was. I've seen that one too. Yeah, it's a good um, film. It's very violent. Yeah. Yes, violent. <laughs> so what, uh, what part did he play in Witness? Right. He was just one of the Amish. He's in about the last scene when he comes to visit her at the end. <laughs> He's milking cows and churning butter and in the background. Oh, no, no. For some him, movie buffs, they'll just... know that that was like his first his first movie. I figured if somebody got the theme, they would know that's like one like the first feature film he was in or something. He speaks in, he speaks Spanish fluently. Yeah. yeah. He and speaks he like in, what, four languages. Four, four languages, five, I think. think. Yeah. Oh God, he just did. He's an incredibly. Hey, you guys, be careful. We don't want to kill this man off. He looks like a. Oh guy. yeah. Nope. 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 So nope, Susan, nope. Susan Frank, we have a history of um, contributing to the demise of people. We one mention one week and they're gone oh. the next. Oh come on! Don't soft sell it. We we cause the demise. <laughs> the one time we definitely killed, killed Betty White. Betty White. Yeah. Oh God. my God. Yeah. You kill one person and you're a murderer for life. That's how it works. That was good. Just and if you believe you know? in time travel, we killed Cormac McCarthy last mm -hmm. week. Yeah. No, Carolyn, mm. Carolyn killed him by herself by coming up with a category. <laughs> <laughs> I killed so Betty White. You guys are so mean. <laughs> No, we didn't mean worse. to kill her. Especially that Karen who tried to take away a point from some team. <laughs> what was she? No, yeah. Okay, so let's go with our scores. So I'm going to start with number five. Add Bezos, make it a three-way cage match, and hope somehow they all lose. Nine correct. All right. Orcas, grab a bite. Eight. Well, yeah, we have as much color vision as an elephant. Five. Wow. Do they fear to tell Trump he has a right to remain silent? <laughs> oh, he's indicted and it feels so good. Oh, wonderful. Thank you. I'm psyched that somebody better. got a 10. How many did we get? Seven. 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 Yeah, seven. Right. Yeah, an average score is 7.8. Good job, Carolyn. Make it tougher next time. <laughs> <laughs> No, don't. I want them six sixes. I want to toughen, Again, you, okay. toughen you up. You guys, we've been here for, we're on our fourth year. Let's get you guys I totally up. apologize to my team. I'm you very, very sorry. Yeah, oh, <laughs> number one. I feel so bad now. Oops. Oops. Oh, Carol and I point, accidentally Vincent. muted you when I oh. meant to remove your co-host. So if, you if, you, if, you, if your team loses by one point, then you can feel bad. <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> team one got really seven, bad. okay. Susan, do you need need people to do them for next week? Oh, Celia hasn't done one yet, huh? And and yeah, and you know what? I'm going away after six. Oh, after next week. I'll be here next week, and then I'm gone for a month. So mm, you should make her do it. Is it been five weeks for Celia? I think, I think so. so. By next week, okay. Oh, yeah, you're, not, you're going to see your hubby. I am. I am. Oh, okay, Celia. The rules are that we want the answer to have one answer right um, name all of the whatevers okay name all the moons of saturn for one point or anything like that mm -hmm. um and uh, 10 questions only keep it keep it tight avoid true false true what was false that about is okay that just completely just prohibited but... yeah. what was that about the moons of saturn susan i didn't follow that don't <laughs> name all the moons of saturn okay i didn't hear the word don't okay yeah no, I, 
I believe there have been ones that ha did have multiple answers and they said one. Yeah, if it's like something that's obvious, like Laurel and Hardy, like name the duo, whatever. Uh -huh. it, it's obvious it has to oh. be Laurel Hardy. Oh, 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 I see. But okay, sorry. Yeah, that's okay. No, but why, if, if, your answer, if your answer has three items and you want all three items, that's yeah. a unique answer. So yeah, but three, three questions. If there are three no, things, one question. One no, no, one, no, Mano, Mano, no, that would be three questions. Name the second person, name the third person will be questions one, two, and three. Right. A bit or, or name one of That's, them. That's we've been doing that for three years. Yeah. Or, or Celia, you could say there are two answers, name one for a yes. Point. We yeah, that's that okay. Right. Like there are two answers that are possible. Name one of them. Right. right. Or name, 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 name either the or actor. The name, actor. Name either the actor or the movie. Not. But both. don't say name the movie and the actor because that right. would be two points, yeah. and so you'd have to have two questions. Right. All right, Rob, you're up yeah. next year. Yeah. Okay. Wait, so wait, does, wait, I have a question mm -hmm. about yes, the Susan? scoring. Um, where does so there was the theme? If there's a tie, does does the getting the theme? Um, Break a tie. Mean anything? No. Uh, no. Okay. I, I I was really trying to figure out the theme because I thought it would help me answer some of the ones I didn't know. Yeah, that's the point Ooh. of the theme. And there theme. was there in this case it didn't help me <laughs> because we didn't figure so, out the theme. But there was a past week in which there was a I don't even remember what the theme was now, but we figured out the theme and that okay. helped us get a couple other. Got it. Yeah. Well, we had people that. So they, Susan. It, came up with nine questions and couldn't think of a 10th question and said, yeah. or one point on Name question 10, yeah. 10, what is the theme? And okay. so I've seen people do that, but I don't like it because I'd rather have all 10 questions and the theme <laughs> is just there to help you. But but so, 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 so this has gotten more strict as the years have gone on. We used to have bonus <laughs> questions. So you have 11 or 12 in one case. And we'd go on until- Still the, only get 10 well, points. In the, three in the, morning. In the beginning, we sometimes like had 15 points per round. Yeah, that yeah. was horrible. Yeah. Well, that was all at the beginning. I just so made Cats and dogs living together. It was terrible. Just barely. <laughs> Cross streams. Okay. Oh. Rob's right, turn. There, oh, by the way, uh, since somebody just came in, uh, sh should I toss them into a breakout room or? No, I'll handle the breakout rooms because I got the chart. I know where they're going to go. Okay. Who just came in? Bob from Illinois. Oh, that's that's all right. That's just my iPad. Don't. Yeah. Yeah. That's all right. Right. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'll do the. I'll do the breakout I, I put it back on. Yeah. Thank Bob's chicken plays in the other room. Bob, you for asking, and Jim. Bob's an iPad. Yeah. Okay. I'll volunteer so, for next week. Okay. Thanks, Vincent. Yeah. So I always put a hint about my category, and this one's more obtuse than mostly. Anybody recognize that app symbol? Is that is that a Discord? Yeah. No, that's Microsoft or a Google Chat, a Google Meet, something like that. No, no, close, close. Google. It's a defunct application. It is oh, called Google. Google Hangouts. Right. Oh, the Hangouts. Yeah. yeah. Right. So it was defunct last year. So uh, wow. this is about Hangouts, but not uh, hey, application Hangouts. Google Hangout. Oh my God. No, this is TV <laughs> Hangouts. So this is going to be given the hangout spot, name the TV series in which each frequently appears. Oh, nice. Nice. Oh. oh, like if there's a certain don't don't, don't, say anything. don't name anything. Don't. Certain public gathering place where all the no, don't say anything. Don't, don't give anybody any hints. <laughs> okay. Mute all right. <laughs> Muting. Mute people. Are people muted? Uh, no. no, that's you, Jim. I'm muting myself. Oh, oh, oh sorry. sorry. <laughs> uh, wait a minute. Uh, let's see. Uh, there it is. There's the um, one. Uh, participants there. Okay. Two. Mute all oh, there. Okay. Yes. Okay. And remember, you're not muted. So don't say out loud, these questions are stupid. Okay. So number one is Just say it in your head. Arnold's. This is going to go a lot quicker than the last one because they're all just one phrase instead of a long paragraph of a description, which you have to do for a movie. Number two, Bucco's Vesuvio. Number three, Cafe Nervosa. Number four, one of my all-time favorites, Dirt Waffle House. 
number five. The Inn at the Crossroads, or sometimes called Crossroads Inn. Number six, the Mariposa Saloon. Number seven is Monk's Cafe. Number eight is Rosie's Bar. Number nine, Ten Forward. And number 10, the Talon. Either know him you or know, you don't. Question nine should have been 10 and 10 should have been nine, Rob. Just saying. <laughs> Point taken. Okay. <laughs> I, they're, they're actually in alphabetical order. That's my, uh, <laughs> my compulsion. It's OCD. Yeah. So, okay. Any questions? I assume not because this is pretty straightforward. Well, okay. 10 forward should have been the 11th bonus. Oh, stop it. All and right. The go answers to, go to your are, are the are the titles of the TV program. That is correct. Okay. Days. That's okay, so probably I know only the happy days. That's it. Same here. Well, that's <laughs> that's, that's one of the ones I know. I was just saying I need five of them. What that's in the world? Them. How much TV? I got two, two. So that's one of the ones I knew was happy days. So now we're down. <laughs> no idea. And ten forward is uh, Star Trek: The Next Generation. Oh, good, because I did not know that one. Oh. Okay, I think I know number two. I don't see the clues. Oh, they're on there. The numbers, next to the numbers are the names of the places. I don't can, see can, it. Can you, you see, see my, them? am I sharing? Yeah, but yeah. I see the answer. No, all I see is the numbers. Uh, yeah. The numbers and, and the, the uh, answer yeah. side. I don't see the. Oh, hang on a question. second. No. Hang on. I think I, sh I shared the wrong. That was the wrong screen. Um, that was Notepad plus plus rather than Notepad plus plus. Notepad. Plus plus plus. plus, plus, plus. <laughs> Does that look better? Go. Yeah, yeah. Sorry about that's that. better. Okay. Sorry, I I got uh, two up. different Notepads up there. <laughs> okay, Dare okay, well, House know. is dead like me. Which one? Oh well, well, wait a minute. Sorry. Number number two, I think I think is. The Sopranos. That's what I was thinking, but I wasn't sure. Good, good. And I do know number three. If that sounds so familiar, but I can't remember it. I think it's Friends. Um, because that was Central Perk. Yeah. Oh, you're right. You're right. Well, oh. originally I thought the same thing, and they said no, that's Central Perk. So right. Uh, okay. So what is Cafe Nervosa then? Oh, it's something that we know. In the crossroads is Game of Thrones. Oh, that's right. Yeah. And I'm not saying that it isn't friends also. They may have had more than one co oh, coffee place. You're right. But you're right. It's Central Perk. You're right. Frazier. Frazier. Yeah. That, sound, that sounds That's right. like it. And occasionally Cheers. Oh, Cheers. That was, what was the name of that one? Cheers. Well, that was Cheers. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But they, they, they mentioned Cafe Nervosa. In Cheers occasionally. Oh, right. <laughs> Even though it was in Seattle, huh? Okay. Well, that's, that's where Fraser. Yeah. Rosie's Bar. That sounds familiar too. Oh, yeah. Rosie's Bar. Uh, that's Mash. Um, but we're not. Let's. We're we're not to that. Let's okay. see. We're on number six. <laughs> I know number seven. When we get to that. Okay. Well, six. I have no idea. So. I don't know either. Mm -mm. That means butterfly in case anybody wants to know. I know. That's all I know. I don't know. <laughs> 
thought that was Papillon. Butterfly is Papillon. Yeah. In which language? That, well, French. Papillon is French, Mariposa is Spanish. Ah, yeah. okay. Oh. Okay. Well, if you want to go to seven. Let's get the ones we know. Okay. This is Seinfeld. Is it? I think. Okay. And that's all the ones I know. So it leaves us with six and ten. The Talon. That sounds like some place in a science fiction or show. fantasy type show. Yeah. yeah. I'm thinking like The Witcher or something. <laughs> yeah, or like um, um, Game of Thrones. He could put two of the two of them in there with the, you know same show. Yeah. Like one of the Star Treks. Oh, Mariposa is uh, Westworld. Oh. oh, is it? Okay. Great. Come on, cat, get off my hands. <laughs> and that leaves us with the Talon. Yeah, I think something fantasy like. There's a lot of fantasy shows out there. I don't really watch them. I, mean, what would I watch be something that Rob would, would have watched. I mean, Rob typically puts stuff he's watched, things he likes. Yeah, I don't know Rob that well. Well, could so. it be um like uh what's what's some of those shows he's always talking about? Isn't is he one of those battlefield the uh, earth people? It's Maybe always, um or um what's some of the others he really likes? Oh, he likes that. That uh, movie or um, the TV sh show that was all cartoon, that it was all conspiracy theories. He was really into that just recently. The Big Lie or something like that. I know what Watched that is. all of those. Um, I don't know what it's called, but it's all conspiracy theories and it's it's cartoon. Um, Maybe it's somewhere that Taylor Swift played. Yeah, <laughs> those theories in TV. So. Um, he's also loved Star Trek. Yeah. Um, could the talent have been in any of the others besides the next generation or the. I, I mean, don't it, think could, it, was in the it could be in series. some of the, the newer ones that I've never seen, all the ones that are on Paramount Plus that I haven't seen. I mean, doesn't sound funny. familiar from the earlier ones. No, it doesn't. But he it, liked. Um, Does he watch fantasy much at all? Yeah, somewhat, I think. Like Doctor Who and stuff like that, I know you watch it. That's true, Doctor Who. But... I do, Doctor Who, I do watch have... Doctor Who, but, you know, there's so many of them. It yeah, could all over the place. There. Yeah. I could remember. Um, and I, I do watch Game, I did watch Game of Thrones. And he did I love it. Ted Lasso. Is the talent in Ted Lasso? I haven't watched I, I've never seen if, it if yet, all so. Of all, the answer is Ted Lasso. <laughs> well, wait, there was a question though about a bar that they went to on Ted Lasso a few weeks ago, and that was, I think, the Crown and Anchor. Yeah, right. right. Yeah. But a uh, Talon could be a British name because it kind of sounds like. Where comes Adrian? It, like I said, to me, it sounds more like a fantasy type of place. Mm -hmm. Katniss, get off there. Okay, let me see. Where am I putting Adrian? Oop, she goes right there. Somebody gets Adrian because they only got five points. Uh, room three. Did you and Adrian have a uh, podcast today? No, we just did or yesterday. Yesterday, it was almost. It was over four hours. 
Oh, I listened to about uh, six seconds of it there. Did I miss anything? It was amazing. Oh, my God, we were brilliant. And then I did two other of these with uh, Janice Boynton. Five and a half hours for one and four hours. The other. It was great. We learned. It was so much information. Yeah, I'll, it I'll, I'll talk it about just it. popped up on my Facebook feed. So oh, I, popped on there right. for, I popped on there for a few seconds. The videos are available on my YouTube channel. All right. Just put it and, on. You can listen to us. Talk. And did you do this in the Talon? Uh, no. <laughs> I'm telling you. It's something that Rob but, listens to and he's into. He loves that stuff. Yeah, so but that doesn't narrow it down much. Uh, Smallville. Oh, that's another one. I've okay. never heard him talking about that. Yeah, I haven't either. Um, but no, that that's... The Walking Dead? Do they ever meet in a pub? I don't know. I've never seen No. <laughs> In the apocalypse, oh, yeah, <laughs> I get to see pouring the, the drink down, and it just starts pouring out their now, faces. Okay, now listen, there is an apocalyptic mo uh, movie that meets in a pub. It takes place in the pub. It's called um, Yeah, but this is Shaun of the Dead. Yeah, but, but it's TV, TV TV show. Yeah, yeah I know, but that's but uh, there, there's a pub. Ron, I'm serious about Smallville. <laughs> you think so? I'll, yeah. I'll go with it. Not coming out with anything better. Well, we did good, you guys. I would have gotten happy days only. <laughs> if I really tried, I might have gotten 10 forward, but that that was good. You guys did really well. I Yeah, I had no idea what 10 forward is. Well, once you said it, it was like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's where Whoopi Goldberg where is. Where Whoopi the, Goldberg, uh... yep, yep. Uh, what's her name in the show again? Uh, it's a one, one name, a single name. I haven't watched a show in so Three long. Syllables. Sounds like. Um, Shilda. We're little into. It's got a long Y sound in it. Brandy knows. Brandy, what's the name of uh, a Whoopi Goldberg in Star Trek's Next Generation's uh, bar? I've never seen that. Never yeah. seen a single episode. I don't see that in this group. <laughs> you get voted on. <laughs> um. Kynan. Oh, yeah, that's yes. like Kynan. Yeah, okay. So Kynan. There's the long the, Y I sound. Yep. <laughs> and only two syllables. Kynan. That's right. That's right. Smallville. That's the one that's about um, Superman. Superboy. Superboy. Yeah. Superboy. Mm. Lana, Lana Lang. Is it good? Yes. Is it good? Um, it's, it's typical of that genre. Yeah, which, which is, means that's not. Which good. means it's what it's watchable, but it's nothing fantastic. How about Westworld? Everybody talks about that. I liked Westworld the first two seasons. I did. Yeah. Not, I I lo got lost in the third season. Yeah, I would agree. Yeah. How many are there seasons? Four, I think. Oh. Maybe five. I think four was last, and then it got canceled. And by season four, we watched it just so we'd see the end of it, but it really went downhill. What yeah. about Dead Like Me? What is that about? It's a ghost. I saw that the first season. That was really a long, long time ago. It was kind of funny. What was oh, that one there, about? There was a British version of it, too, with the same name. I'm trying to remember if I watched it. What's that one about? Dead Like Me? It's about the woman who gets hit by a car and then follows... She got hit by a car, didn't she? Wasn't what? there a toilet that flew fell out of a out of a building? She got hit by a toilet. Was it? Am, am oh, I, that's no way to go. Was it a car? I thought it was a car. Maybe it was. I for some reason I'm remembering like. So she just I, haunts people in her past. I think she had to get hooked up with like a a group of like ghosts where they have to do good or something and help people. Am I remembering that right? I didn't watch more than two episodes and it, I've, and that was so long ago, I've forgotten entirely about it. I had bought the DVD set, the DVD of the first season and watched that. That's how I, and that's all I saw. It was a long, long time ago. 
It was funny. A long, long time ago. <laughs> the night owls. Hi. I, you came in right as we closed the room, so I couldn't allow Thank you to uh, a team. Hey, Adrian. That's fine. Um, Adrian Hello. here, and Adrian uh, got to go into room three because they only had five points. So good one, team three, <laughs> because did, that was, we have as did, much color did, vision. Did you as help out, Adrian? Well. Not on this one, nope. <laughs> I thought I it was a good category. More though. Was if cool. I would have. If I, I would have. came up the with right so answer. many other samples from other shows that you didn't use, Rob. <laughs> oh, I, I, I have I have two more of these to go. Yeah, this was once once I thought of it, I was actually watching it's, one of the shows in here. To you, huh? And I said, I just Googled it, you know, famous bars, famous restaurants and TV shows. And bang, there's like many oh, articles. About them all. No, all right, so, good, so here we go. And it was uh, quick, too. I've been to a few of them. <laughs> of course, of course, I couldn't use Cheers because, you know, hell, that's the name of the show. So, yes, that, that wouldn't have worked. That will okay. Can the, everyone uh, see my screen? Yes, sir. Yeah. Yes. Okay. T what screen where she is, is not really cheers, though. Sorry. Yeah, well, yes. but the name, it's the name, it's the name. A lot of them are not the real name if it's a real place. Right. And and one of those is, is from Seinfeld, by the way. Uh, so here you go. Uh, TV Hangouts. Let's see if I can make this work. Okay, first question was Arnold's. Happy days, Arnold. Happy days. Yeah. Hey! Uh, Bucu's Vesuvio. I think a lot of people got this just from a guess from the name because, yes, it is the Sopranos. Yeah. Right. Hey. Ugh. Uh, now, this one was tough because oh, I couldn't oh. find an establishment. Somebody in our team knew it. Yeah, we just binge watched this entire series, eleven seasons of twenty six episodes wow. each. Wow, Paramount Plus. And you just, are nuts. And just finished it, Fraser. and uh, that is Frasier. Oh, um, uh, the, the the name is is a good giveaway. Nervosa. just hang out. Nervosa. It, it really caught on. It really caught on. As much as Cheers, perhaps you could find merchandise with that that logo all over the place mm. from, in that place. Okay, this was a tough one. I couldn't find an outside shot, but there is one of the main characters with the inside Mandy shot. Yep, that's correct. Uh, and what? Is Waffle House, and the show is Dead Like Me. Oh, you go, See? Vincent. I got it. See, See? Oh, Vincent. Very good, Vincent. They were they all were they are Does he all have a grim. zit on his nose? What is the ghost? Does that ghost have that. a nose? That looks it's not a ghost. Gum. It's not a ghost. It's just a blurry shot. Oh. Uh, they're all Grim Reapers in that show. With oh. bubble gum. Bubble gum, yes. Number five, in at the crossroads, a crossroads in. Uh, this establishing shot should give it away. Maybe not. I didn't see anybody get this. That is a Game of Thrones. You didn't oh. come to our room. Oh. Oh. I can't believe I didn't Got know it. that. Yeah. Did anybody get it? Yeah, yes, we are. All right. Oh man. <laughs> Number six. I can't believe how many people missed this one. Westworld. Oh wow. Oh, yeah. oh. Actually, almost every episode Westworld. started Everything started there because we did we game. did get that one just by almost by accident. Yeah. Considering they had oh, a shootout so. in there every week, we yeah. argued whether Westworld is one or two worlds. Now, now I'm yeah. going to ask Karen. Do we accept it if it's written as two <laughs> words? Because I saw some people doing that. <laughs> <laughs> we wrote i wrote it down as one word so i don't know oh. i said one word but my i was muted so they didn't hear me <laughs> <laughs> so then you had no words now yeah. this is the establishing shot uh, from monk's cafe which look at the you, one on my page if you see the left side of the sign it actually says tom's restaurant but they never show that and they called it monk's mm. It's side film. Oh, right. I, I've, yeah, I've got that picture in my background right now. I've seen yeah, it. You sure do. It is Tom's restaurant. Yes. And this is a hard shot to get, yeah. but I found this one oh. shot. Oh. It, interestingly, oh. it was written as Rose Bar because I guess she was a Vietnamese gal and didn't understand how to write mm. Rosie's, but it's Rosie's Bar. I will take Rosie. Korean. Bar. Is it MASH? Korean. Yeah. Mash. Sorry, Korean. Uh, wow. Yes, it's, and it is MASH. Wow. And I heard the question was that in the film as well as I don't know if that was in the film. They always used to go there. You didn't see the sign too much. Because you just it, saw it didn't Rosie. Come along until a little bit later. Oh, yeah, they'll say go to Rosie's. I hope everybody got 10 forward, please. <laughs> Star Trek the next generation. But I will take Picard the final season because <laughs> yeah. wait, 10 what what's the what's the establishment? 
the it's Ten Star Trek the next generation it was called 10 forward their bar but that wasn't that was the location you can't see the name it you no. just have to know it no no but, but which just... question was that number nine, number nine. Number nine. we got it Ten our forward. team got it forward. oh we got it we what's the controversy what I, do. I don't understand the controversy no i just don't remember the question sorry i Okay. That's because I was the scribe and I knew the answers. So and number 10. Oh, okay. Number 10. Uh, this one was a tough one. I watched this whole series and did not remember. And it's because in this town, uh, the mascot for the football team was the crow, which have talons. So it was small. Smallville. We got All it. All right, Bill. Oh my nice gosh. one. Whoever was on my team, good job, you guys. That was Bill. Bill. All right. Wow! Then, uh, how I, knew I must have seen that episode or something. And there I is watch Tom's it. restaurant. If you look at my photo up there. Mm -hmm. Yep. There it is. Okay, let's do our scores. So we have a wide range from five to ten. So I'm going to start with the team that has five. We have as much color vision as an elephant. You'll have to be there, you guys, who didn't show up for the names and why it's named that. <laughs> we have five again. You'll have to listen to the oh, uh, really? you have to listen wow. to the uh, score. Hey, you're tied. <laughs> um, <laughs> stop the count. Not He's invited long. and it feels so good. Oh, oh six. Six, right? <laughs> six. All right. Okay. Orcas grab a bite. Seven. Add Bezos, make it a three-way cage match, and hope somehow they all lose. Ten. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, oh, my goodness. Did they forget to tell Trump he has a right to remain <clears throat> silent? A binary two, better known as ten. Nice. Oh, oh, dear. I knew that was a ten because I was on that team, so I knew. Dude, all right. Like my team. So let's do our photo. At this point, Susan, what we do is everybody jussies up and makes themselves look all pretty. And we take a photo and I put it up on Facebook. And I put it, and it's also the key photo for our next, uh, for the video for this event. I love how everybody gets all excited. They're like, oh, crap, oh, no, I always look so sloppy. You can really tell the excitement in Paula's face, too. Where's Paula? <laughs> Paula. Paula. Oh, there she is. <laughs> okay, ready? One, two, three. Okay, I got it. Get in it. Who? Okay, got it. I don't think I was in it. Where are you? I don't think it was in it. Yeah, you're in it. Oh, you're okay. in it. I wasn't though. Oh, your 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 bar was in it. Your restaurant's in it. Yeah, the restaurant. My face was. Don't worry about it. I don't care. Okay. Not like it's we, your first time. <laughs> we, 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 it's nice. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a five minute break. I'm uh -huh. the camera's running, so the video will still run and record everything you say. So be careful. And then we're going to come back and we're going to uh, do announcements. That takes about five, 10 minutes. And then we're going to go to round three. So are we allowed to swear during the break? Of course. Swear, oh. up, a, swear up a storm. Oh, All right. hey, Brandy. That great man. Right oh, never <laughs> that. <laughs> what do you think so far, Susan? I'm I'm ducking out. I can't I can't chat. I need to run. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, be right back. Okay. I guess I'll st I'll stay through the announcements, uh, and then uh, and then I'll duck out. <laughs> wow, we're gonna have nobody in our team for the just Wendy and 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 uh, oh. Carl for the final round. Oh no! I she, I don't think she's leaving the game. I think she just went for a bathroom break. Oh, oh. Okay. Ooh, good idea. And Paula's still here. Anyway, that's right. Anyway, I might. Okay, I think I'll. Uh... Okay, I've got I've got an idea for. Uh, uh, for some trivia questions. So write I write it down so you don't forget. Don't say anything. Because yes. <laughs> that always triggers other people to steal your idea. <laughs> oh, I or start studying up. Yeah. Or study up for it. 
Because once Rob said what he said tonight, how many people are going to go to that website and figure out the rest of them? You know what I mean? I don't know. Those people might be on your team next time. Yeah. We, we got <laughs> I, I prefer not don't to. don't even remember the answers from previous rounds. So. Yeah, I prefer not to. <laughs> I did a few categories with uh, the Hollywood Walk of Fame. I did Pete, my name. I did Carl's name. I think I did Susan and maybe Jane. And then I'm thinking, how many people have looked up their name? I guess I'm running out before people, you know, start to look up their name on on the Hollywood Walk of Fame and name the rest of the stars. I don't think there's too many monos on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. <laughs> it's probably some James, Deborah, Carolyn, Vincent, Ron, Rob, Lee. They probably have some Cindy's, Paulas, Williams, Karens. <laughs> I'm back. Hi. Where, did Jane, where did Jane go? Oh, oh. Yeah, if you go to New York City, uh, Tom's restaurant is relatively cheap. It's it's decent food. It's not great. But Katz's Deli is the place to go. That is phenomenal food and very expensive. And internationally known. Yeah, you go in there and they don't even give you a menu or anything. You just get a ticket and you and you have to hold on to the ticket and they write down everything. You go walk up to the counter and they slice the meat right off of a, a thing and onto a plate for you and make a sandwich. And then they write the price down on the piece of paper that you carry. And then when you leave, if you lose it, they charge you like seventy five dollars or something like that if you lose your piece of paper. That so, only happens once. Yeah. So <laughs> we went in there, me, my son, and my wife, and they gave us three tickets. And of course, when you're making the sandwiches, the guy just put them all in the same ticket. So my son Ooh. walking out didn't have his ticket. So where is it? And he says, There was nothing on it. I said, well, Would you throw it away? Oh, I didn't throw it away. It's right here, but there's nothing on it. I said, But you're still going to show it to them to leave. <laughs> Three sandwiches, out. like fifty dollars for three sandwiches. And this and was years ago. And they're rude to you too. No, they're not too bad. I think I think there are two restaurants sandwiches. in New York that's famous for them being really rude. To yeah, there are places here. like that, but yeah, and there's a place in Philadelphia. There's a place in Philadelphia that's open late at night where they swear at you. There was a, a place in Chinatown in San Francisco that was known for the owner being really rude. Ed, Ed DeBevix is famous for, you know, it's like their stick is the, 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 the waitress, the servers insult you and, but it's kind of their thing, you know, it's, it's, it's a joke. Okay. Did you see her? She, before I sat down, she jumped hey, off the back yeah. of the chair. There's a web comic mm -hmm. where the, uh, where for a while the coffee house, that was the stick, something about, yeah, being rude to the. <laughs> yeah. In Palo Alto, there was a restaurant, the Peninsula Dairy restaurant, long, long time ago, where the waitresses acted like your mom, and she she was on her last uh, last thread. Hey, Eat that I and get out of here. I ate at a kosher deli in Chicago years ago. It was called Ash Ashkeys or Ashkenazis Ashkeys, and the waitresses were like they were like out of the fifties. They were like, hello, darling. <laughs> what can I get you, darling? Jeez, there were places Ooh. here in Calgary that were rude to people, and it wasn't their stick. They were just, <laughs> they were just, just rude. Many places to go. There's a, there's, a, there's a town in Illinois, um, and I met a guy. He gave me a pen from it. It was called Poopies, and it was... Uh, uh, what, what was it? Yeah, it was all these poop poop jokes. It says tip our waitresses because we don't pay shit. 
it was other stuff, but it was called poopies. It's like, ugh. <laughs> My, there's a Happy. local, there's a local, very expensive, fancy restaurant near us in the grounds for sculpture where my wife works as a docent called Rats. Rats That's just wrong. Yeah. Out in Missouri, there's a uh, a side rest, uh, tourist trap called the Uranus Fudge Factory. <laughs> oh, my God. oh my God. And leading up to it on Route 66, as you drive, like the last 10 miles till you get there, come to our fudge factory, come to have Uranus. Uh -huh. And you know, when you go there, they, they have a newsletter and they have all these wise comments they say to you on the way out the door. It's just, it's kind of funny. I had to buy a hat. That's all I bought. Hey, Adrian, would you and Craig like to... That's what they do it for, just to get yep. to the door. Yep, and it worked. Gets a lot of people in uh, there. For coffee tomorrow? There's um, there's a, a, a fast food uh, chicken place in Nova Scotia, Canada called Lick a Chick. And it's not a joke. <laughs> I'm covering your ears. One of the secrets... <laughs> it's not a Good joke. Person. One of the secret inside stories in Las Vegas, for those of you coming to PsyCon, you can go and eat there if you'd like, is there is a Vietnamese restaurant. And like most of them, the first word is P-H-O and yeah. most oh. Americans say pho. Yeah. But the Vietnamese do not say pho. They say pho. That's how it's oh. pronounced. And this restaurant's called Big Letters Across the Front. First word, pho. The second word K I M Kim, and the last word L O N G. Mm. Say it out loud, and you will realize. Yeah. If you don't know, there's, you just think it's some Vietnamese thing. Mm -hmm. long, there was a, that? But if yeah, you know how to pronounce a, it, poking, yeah. We had a restaurant yeah. called that. One day oh, they fuck. actually ran out of pho. Seaside, California, had that too. So, King. Well, yeah, right, that, that's the same one. Can there I? Was so can, Let's see. What can be so is can take out that Vietnamese pho to go? <laughs> Somebody's trying more, to say something. More. Who was trying to say something? I was. Can one can more. you hear me? Yeah. Can yes. you can hear me now? Because I've got I I've found some Lampard. headphones that work, so I can. I oh yeah, you sound better. Here. Okay. We Lampard. got it now. <laughs> it only took me two hours. There's a furniture store called Sofa King, and their motto was, "Our prices are Sofa King low." <laughs> Vincent, you should be getting writing this down. Okay, so we're back now. Okay, so this is a, this is a point where what we do is we do a little announcement of what's going on in the world of our uh, community, the skeptical community. And um, Kyle, why don't you, Kyle? Hey, hey. Why don't you start off? Sure. Well, this week on Data Skeptic, I'm interviewing a researcher looking into. The degree to which uh, modern large language models like ChatGPT possess theory of mind. Theory of mind being the ability for you or I or now computers to recognize other agents as having agency. Uh, there are some well-known tests for that and computers are getting somewhat good at passing those tests. So we explore that topic this week on Data Skeptic. Define agency, please. Uh, the ability to take an input from the outside world decide what actions to take and execute those actions. I thought theory of mind was to a large extent, having some idea of what the other person thing knows, what the other yep. person, yeah, it's, but, 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 but it's not, that, but that's not all of it. Or, that's right. It, there, there's a lot of complexities to it, but you hit the key point right there. Yeah. I thought it had something to do with Marcel Marceau. Mm -hmm. okay. okay, so thank you. Thank you so much, mm -hmm. Kyle. I'm I'm a week or two behind on my podcast, so I will need to get back to that. Um, Cindy and Deborah and I went to um, this last week, and we went to Fremont Peak. That was really nice to be able to go up there. It was a lot of fun. The photos are up on my Facebook page or Monterey County Skeptics. Um, and then I also went to see the Bay Area Skeptics. Leonard came out and did a uh, museum trip of the computer museum up in San Jose. I'd never been there before computer history museum and 27 people showed up. It was really interesting. I learned about uh, uh, 
uh, Leonard has has personal stories to tell about Steve Jobs and uh, Bill Gates. So someday we have to ask him those stories mm -hmm. on tape because they're really funny. And <laughs> that was quite quite interesting. Um, I they, also, they won't they won't get him sued though, right? No, no, no. Okay. Um, also, Rob, you have a. Can you talk about the Project Hail Mary that's coming up? The thing. What? But isn't Project Hail Mary a book review something coming up? Philadelphia, no. Philadelphia next Wednesday, four o'clock my time. I don't know what you're talking about. Hmm. There is a Project Hail Mary book club coming up. I okay. saw it. I wrote it down. I said, "Oh, this." Oh, tri Triangle Skeptics. Oh, Triangle Skeptics. Yes, Triangle Skeptics are doing that. And the Triangle. Oh, yeah, yeah. So um, that's Faith and Romero. Yeah, Faith yeah. and Romero. They're not I here. Was, are they? No, they're I, they're traveling right now. Oh I, yes, I did. Yeah, They're I on did their way to see, Idaho. I did yeah. see that shot of them. On the I'm thinking of putting that into the list for the uh, Calgary Eighth uh, Rocky Mountain Atheist Book Club. That so would be good. good it's idea, such a Jeff. it's such a long book that they decided to have two meetings about it because it's 16 hours read out loud. So yes, the, the, we're going to discuss the first half of the book this yeah. next time. Such a great. So book. you're going to join, Susan? I have it on my calendar. I'm okay. I'm hoping to join. Okay. I. I um, it's been a long time since I've listened to it, but it sure is great. So anybody who hasn't already heard or read Project Hail Mary, it's a terrific science fiction book that is um, out a couple of years. It's um, the same person who wrote Martian. Uh, Martian. The Martian, Martian or yeah. Artemis. So if you Andy. like, yeah, if you like that kind of thing, Andy Weir, yeah, yeah. He's, he's terrific. What an amazing yeah. author. Way, he's so Andy well read. By the way, Andy Weir wrote a, uh, quite a while ago, did a webcomic, uh, oh, Casey God. and Andy. Oh, come on. Hmm, I didn't know that. Yeah. So oh. you can look it up and, uh, and, and see what he was doing. Prior? Prior. So yeah. I want to uh, put this in the chat. This is something I learned about from Adrian. <laughs> it's called the Q Dropped Podcast. Oh, yeah. Also a YouTube oh, channel. Oh, wow. I I, have, I, I've been binge listening to this. It is incredible. Courtney Hurd is a, what a wonderful interviewer. Mm -hmm. She's a fabulous podcast. Um, it is uh, well researched. Heartbreaking. It's just it heartbreaking. heartbreaking. Yes. And so it is incredible. I put the link to it if you guys like podcasts or if you like videos. This is stories people are telling her about their family who's gone into QAnon and they're way in the rabbit hole. Some of them are not QAnon. Some are other things. One's a, one was a mother was a Nazi. Another one is um, the guy is just really into MAGA and, and took her out of the will um there there it's incredible but there are two on here the reason why i started listening to it is because adrian did an interview with her a few weeks ago and it is called uh the gorilla activists against misinformation and adrian did such a wonderful job on this she's interviewed you can watch her if you watch it on youtube you can see them talking putting the link to it in here very good uh, story um we have now I've received emails from five people, I think four people. One of them's finally finished her her um, prerequisite to get into my program, my uh, my um, Wikipedia team, and I've got three more that are out taking the taking the um, from that podcast. Yep. <gasps> so we've got. So I didn't say anything until they all started wow. showing up, but we have a few. This one right here is another interview she did. It's. Um, with Mick West. Yeah. And this is talking about how to talk to people who are conspiratorial. And this is a really good uh, episode on how to understand um, how, just how to think about it. It's, it's really well done. It's an hour long. If you guys have any interest in helping to understand people who are in the rabbit hole or getting out of the rabbit hole or about to get into the rabbit hole. Mick West does a really good job explaining it to her. And this woman, Courtney Hurd, who's who's the host of the show, she's heard everything. My gosh, her own parents are in the in QAnon and it's just incredible. So I highly recommend it. Um, Rob, I think you have have you, can you say something about any of the interviews you've been doing? I, I can. In fact, I have a little tiny, less than one minute clip. I think it's less sure. than 30 seconds. I interviewed Melanie Teresa King, and that has been submitted for publication. It should come out any day. 
I also interviewed the new Skeptical Inquirer editor, uh, Steve Hupp. Stephen Hupp. And uh, shout outs to a bunch of people here, in, including um, you, Susan, Melanie, right. and um, let's see, who else? And I think I told them. Did I tell them? You told me. I told you. Gail was mentioned several times. Oh, wow. Awesome. So uh, here is the little clip of Melanie. And I told Barry Carr that he should hire her to promote uh, PsyCon. Here you go. All right. So, so what, what is your overall impression of the conference? Why, basically, you know, tell people who are watching this who's never gone why they should go. I honestly don't know how to say that in one succinct place, except that what I what I remember feeling is like, holy crap, my people have all been gathering in a place every year and I didn't know they were there and now I found them and this just feels so wonderful. <laughs> there you go. That's great. I'm going to share that. Okay, I got to share that somewhere. All That's right, great. don't replay. Who else are you um, interviewing coming up? Why does it keep playing? Because you got to click off of it and make it stop. I don't see it on my... Stop it. Oh, there it is. Okay, I had to quit the browser page. Weird. Um, oh, yeah, I, I pull off it is one of the people that I'm going to be interviewing. Oh, that'd be and, good. And a whole bunch of other yeah. people, uh, in, including I just reached out to Leanne Lord. I thought that would be cool to talk to her. Oh, she's yeah. actually going to do she's a stand a up half hour. So she's not the she's not going to be the MC this year, but she is, uh, you know, donating a performance. So that should be good. Yeah, she's a, she's mm -hmm. such a she's, talent. She's but great. I, I did about 12 people last year, and I'm expecting to be on that same. Uh, same. I'm really looking forward to talking to Paul Offit because, oh mm. my God, how many times did we see him on television shows yeah. when they were asking about, <laughs> um, you know, the vaccines? Yeah, he's he's a real talent, and it's been a while since we have had. I mean, COVID is not a conversation. There's been a few other things happening in the world since then, yeah. and we've kind of got our. And I'd like to hear updates and things like that. That'd be great. So, oh, and I also have Mick West. We're going to be talking about the latest UFO stuff. Oh yeah, yeah, that'll be great. <laughs> Including this guy who busy. did the big <laughs> leak that yeah. proves that the United States is holding oh, alien technology and reverse engineering it. Yeah. You yeah. might want to put the interview off because there's something new that's about to drop. We're any just waiting. Now. Any moment now. We're going to have those aliens any moment now. Any moment. In two weeks. Yeah, I think I'm going to write it on the calendar. When you say oh, something's yeah, about to drop, uh, do you mean a UFO this guy. as in out of the sky or? <laughs> <laughs> well, we've got four of those already, yeah. No, I, I heard, on this topic, I heard a fascinating interview. I don't often listen to it, but I was scanning the titles. And on Big Picture Science, uh, Seth Shostak, who I interviewed for the Skeptic Zone uh, when he was a speaker at a previous conference, um, had, um, oh God, I forget her first name. It's, uh, it's the daughter of Francis Drake. Yeah, and, yeah, recently. Francis yeah. Drake, who? The Drake of the Drake equation. Of, oh, you know, oh. Our, oh! How many extraterrestrial yeah. civilizations are there? And, and she is on gentleman. the NASA committee of 16 people that is investigating all of this. And it was a fascinating interview. So I've reached out she to her. Great to answers. See, to see if she'll give me an interview. I haven't heard back yet. Okay, wonderful. So Rob's got a bunch more coming up. I think that'll be a lot of fun to be able to watch those. Um, you do a terrific interview. This is a skill that you didn't know you had, Thank which you. is pretty cool. Mm -hmm. um, we have a couple other things. This one right here I want to share. Is, <laughs> I'm about My to favorite share. interview, by the way, was Adrian because of she couldn't stop laughing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm putting a link to something else in here. Thank this you, Rob. Is, uh, I think. This is a webinar series that I'm doing with Center for Inquiry. This is our third mm -hmm. interview. Uh, it's a webinar. I've been doing these once a month and they are, this one is Kenny Biddle and Richard Saunders. And I was the adult in the room with those three. I can't but, believe it. I find that hard to believe. Trying to keep them from driving me nuts and stuff. It was fun. But we talked about how having difficult conversations with people who are, are on our team in the same community, those kinds of uh, conversations as well as some others. So it was, it was really fascinating. So if you want to give that a look, there's the link. Um, I have more coming up. Anybody who's thinking of running a skeptic group or who is running a skeptic group or anything like that, 
and you need some guidance or want to know what other people are struggling with or whatever, I'm going to be doing two listening sessions. And that is a Zoom call. I'm going to do them in different hours of the time so that people can go and listen. I think the first one is, oh, hell, I didn't write it down. But anyway, they're coming up. It's a Monday. Oh, you got one? Okay. And what we're going to be doing is I'm just going to be, we're going to, I'm going to be facilitating a group of probably five or six people, not very many. It's going to be recorded and it's for people who are in groups or who, and want to help improve their groups or are thinking of starting a local group. So not just hanger outers, it's about group dynamics and how, what are they struggling with? What do we need to help you with? So that's coming up and, um, Oh, and this happened today too. Um, so I have this little channel that I'm really struggling to to make uh, to make it bigger. It's called Psychics Explained. And what's going on with this thing is I have been um, I'm at 705 videos uh, subscribers so far. So we're coming a long way really quickly. And what we're trying to do is, if you like psychic um, conversations about psychics or uh, you're into, you want to understand mediumship, all that kind of stuff. Um, what's happening is I've been creating these videos that are in depth. Some of them are just 30 seconds long to five hours long. And uh, it's been hilarious, but um, I'm learning a lot. And so what's happened is that um, I'm trying to get the link, darn it. Oh, there it is. Um, so what's going on with this channel is that, here it is. Oh, thank you, Rob, for putting that link in there for the big picture yeah. sign. Yeah. So what's yeah. going on with Psychics Explained is we are able to um, get in depth about different psychics. And um, Janice Boynton and Adrian came and helped <laughs> me do two Facebook Lives. Uh, the one I did with Adrian was yesterday, right? It was yesterday, and I had oh. to have a nap afterwards. It, <laughs> it was so been intense. over four hours. But... <laughs> We went into such depth with the yeah. with the medium that we're doing and the insight from somebody like Janice Boynton or Adrian, who doesn't really have a, this isn't your world necessarily. You have interests that are outside of it, but to see what you guys picked up on and the things I, I kind of missed. And then I was doing them on Facebook Live. I think I'm going to do a lot of those on Facebook Live because I love the comments that people were making. They saw stuff that yeah. we missed. And they said, yeah, like, good. if I'd say, did she really say that? Then somebody <laughs> on Facebook would go, yeah, that's what she said. They're long, but you can do them in bits if you want. But, oh, here comes Romero and Faith. Oh, my gosh, I'm traveling. We really, it really enjoyed it. And I've gotten word today that um, there, there's a group of people who are, who are downloading these and they've got spreadsheets and everything about all the mediums that I'm working on. And they're, exa they're, let's just say that the, all the work that, <laughs> that I'm doing with these mediums is, is, is are they being, logging the hits and misses? Is that what they're doing? No, 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 no. They're, 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 they're using the, I, I don't even want to say it on film, okay. but, uh, <laughs> but anyway, it's, it's being examined by people that for other reasons. So it's hmm. not just for the channel or for whatever, it, there's other things. So there's a lot going on. The one I did, so I'm done with this mediumship summit. It took, it's four hours of video. I probably spent 40 hours on it. And Adrian gave me four hours on video, plus all the research she did. And yeah. Janice gave me like nine pages hours of, of notes. video. Plus, yeah, notes. That's crazy. Logo. Anything else I need to cover? We ready to get back? I see. Go ahead, oh, just that I'd like to announce, I don't know if anybody's going to be in Calgary this Friday, but Craig, um, sure. Sure. Thank you. I was going to say Foster and I knew that was wrong. So Craig okay. Shear, uh, president of the New Zealand Skeptics is going to be in Calgary this Sunday and we're going out for dinner to a pub down in downtown Calgary. So if you happen to be flying to Calgary or in Calgary, for those of you who are in Calgary, I know there's a few of you here. I hope to see you there. And it's then we're going to do some photography. Me. I wish I were Is, coming. Are you the only one I, where did Jim go? Oh, there's Jim. Jim's here. Jim, I, Jim. Oh, I own Jim a beer. Yeah, that is so cool. Yeah, Unless Faith and Romero are in a van. Anyway, anyway, I guess I'll I guess I'll sign out uh, now that the. Okay, uh, I'll give it to somebody else, Jim. Thank you so much. I hope you learned a lot about. Hi, Jim. 
By Jam was the controls. Bye. Uh, Bye. 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 Where are you? We're in Idaho. Yeah, we're about five where? miles Bye. west of um we're in Post Falls at the rest stop. That's where we're staying the night. Oh, that's so awesome. I, I really liked your pictures from Dallas. Those were I had never seen the the depository like that showing how small the really that room was that was fascinating mm -hmm. i've seen yeah, well that's like, that's just they just have that part of that that window glassed off it's actually one big huge large floor and they discuss what they found but it, what was really surprising was just how small dealey plaza actually is oh and where the zarpruder film was shot and where the grassy knoll is it's it's like someone's backyard it's like someone's backyard literally and the whole concept of there being a shooter from the grassy knoll, I would think where he was standing, you would have had to have seen or heard something, just how close everything was together. Like that was the shocking part to me. Interesting. So did, so, did, so did you see uh, JFK Jr. Uh, rise from the dead to uh, join Trump's <laughs> uh, administration? We did not. Oh. <laughs> Negative 48. That's the group. Did meet uh, a conspiracy theorist there that was uh, trying to sell DVD videos. Of of funny. Information that wasn't um, shown, and he kept saying like they don't have this upstairs in the museum. And we were, you said a couple times like actually they did talk about that. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, oh, they don't show where the bullet made a hole in the windshield of the car. And you know, we just had come from the museum, and yeah, I, I told him like, yeah, they showed it. It's like, oh, good. Finally, there. He's like, finally, <laughs> like something changed. They just like, put it in. Yeah, and it's pretty clear. Like when you go up to the the sixth floor and you see the window where he shot from. Like you looking down, even where the trees are, you can see the X marks on the ground. Like it's it's not it's not that difficult because <laughs> I always thought this whole the whole place where it happened it was everything was much more spread apart. Yes, I'm reading that book right now. Just <laughs> Caspian. And I'm, I'm like in the last couple really? chapters. Yeah. Oh, I'm Jenny trying to and Caspian just what, what book? He's not on my screen. 11 2263. Oh, yep. Yeah. Which you got Jenny wrong. Which you got wrong. <laughs> Why? Because I wasn't paying attention. But I'm like, I'm in the part in the book where it's like three days before the assassination. Mm -hmm. There is a guy who has a big van covered. I've seen it. And Stephen King shot. Kennedy drives around. Oh my God! Oh, Stephen King shot John Lennon. Oh no! I'm sorry, oh, Stephen King it's shot John. It's the Lennon John murder Lennon. truth guy. Uh, Is he? Yeah, Monterey County? Too. I've never even heard of that one. Is it Monterey County, Caspian? Yeah, I've seen that. I've seen that van. Oh God! <laughs> I think I've seen that van. All right, LennonMurderTruth.com. I'm sure you can find it. All right. Okay, don't so do don't do uh, it, Jamie. Adrian, I won't be able to make it this Sunday. So. Oh, I'm sorry. oh, you're going to miss yeah. meeting Craig oh. Shear. I'm so excited that he's coming up there. And at the very last minute, Craig Shear says to me, oh, yeah, well, I'm going to be in America. I'm like, where? He goes, well, I'm going to go to Salt Lake City and then Calgary. I'm like, and what are you doing? And how come you're telling me this like like <laughs> two days before you fly to America? Well, well, what about it? I'm like, well, I can have you do talks. Do, do you know what he said to me talk. though he said i'll do a dinner but not a talk yeah i, I told him i said you should go <laughs> hang out with some of the other people that would be wonderful do you not understand you're a visiting dignitary yes. go and see some people so he went to hang out with the salt lake city brand new group starting and he's gonna nice. go hang out with adrian i was yeah. just so thrilled this is like so cool and i'm gonna take Don't him around he's into photography small. So we're yeah, gonna take photography. Yeah, we're gonna take him around and do some photography. So it's gonna oh, be fun. He's gonna, he's gonna love Please actuary. tell him hi for me. I invited him to Oregon because I owe him and Susan a beer. Ah, uh, but I'm his wife, a beer for you. not me, Susan. Wife. Yeah, you know beer. what? During the pandemic, uh, they cut their own bangs, and we called them bangs, right? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. He called them fringe. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, we'll call Is them. Is that what they are here, in New Zealand? The the fringe. They call them fringe here in Canada as well, but they also call them bangs. We call them both. In, they call in, them oh. fringe in UK. That yeah. was it's, so yeah, interesting. It, it's <laughs> British English, or, you know. It's just not American English. American English is, is bangs, and and Canada just picks up from everywhere. Exactly. <laughs> you need to go watch more of the um, Austin Powers, and you'll hear them talk about fringe. Okay, Jay, so Jay, I have a question for Jamie. 
Has, yeah. has this is this Lightfoot guy been sued by Stephen King? I, I don't understand how this could be not a contentious. I thing. have no idea. Wait. I mean, wouldn't that be giving him too much, you know, <laughs> recognition? Who cares, you know? Uh, I mean, yeah, yeah, with somebody I writing true. a book that you were involved with a murder, I think it would be worthy of. Well, I he think is that a well-known local mobile landmark. And ironically, he kind of looks like Stephen King, too. <laughs> I've, I've heard that. Or as Jamie said, a homeless Stephen King. <laughs> well you know stephen king has sort of done had some pretty crazy theories of his own so it's kind of turn around yeah, but he writes crazy what? books he's got to have crazy theories that's that's just the mindset of somebody who writes yeah. well for one thing he, he's a he's a climate change denier stephen king i don't stephen think king. so i've never heard this and um steve lightfoot used to always used to call kgo radio uh calling the largest at the at its time it was the largest call-in talk show in the western united states he would call and he would pretend to he would change his voice and he'd he'd get on the air and he'd he'd talk for five or six sentences and then say and stephen king shot john lennon and they go okay steve you made it through again goodbye <laughs> okay so let's go back are back we ready? The game. Are we ready? Right. oh we're playing a game Yes, yeah, sorry everybody, but we get off these tangents. That's why it's social trivia. There's just the way we are. All right. So up next for round three, we have Gail. Let me give you your permissions. She's got something in the back of her thing there. It must be a clue. It kind of looks like Hallmark cards or or no like uh oh to go containers. Yeah, like you open up like, packets. Okay, here That's comes Deborah. Right. So don't say anything yet. Here comes Deborah. Let her get in here. We call those PCs. PCs? Portion control. Oh. I wanted to make it not quite as obvious as some of the other ones. Well, it's hard to tell. Okay, so go ahead, Gal. You're up. Okay. Our topic is condiments. Okay, and I. And here is the definition from Wikipedia: A condiment is a preparation that is added to food typically after cooking, to impart a specific flavor, to enhance the flavor, or to complement the dish. A table condiment or table sauce is more specifically a condiment that is served separately from the food and is added to taste by the diner. So all of our answers will have to do with condiments. So we're ready to start. All right, and I've just made Jane the uh, official troll buster muter, official muter. She didn't realize that, but she was right there in my field of vision whenever I was looking to see because Jim is gone now. So you're up. Okay. okay. Muting all. Okay, question one. This is a true and false question. True or false? When providing a dish made with store-bought mayonnaise on a buffet or otherwise not putting that dish under refrigeration for a few hours, you should be particularly careful of providing an environment for food poisoning compared to dishes without mayonnaise. Question two. This is a multiple choice. Which of the following is not true about soy sauce? A, it is made of soybeans, wheat, salt, and water. B, the process requires fermentation for from six months to a year. C, although it is ubiquitous in Asian cooking today, it is actually a recent invention having only been used since the 19th century, or D, Stronger bacteria in the air can overtake the fermentation process and it can go bad. That is why health departments don't technically allow chefs to make their own sauce. Okay, question three. What is the condiment that is made from malt and spirit vinegar, molasses, sugar, salt, anchovies, tamarind extract, 
onions, garlic, and spice. Question four. What is the current name of the popular condiment that was originally made in China from pickled fish and was brought to Europe in the 18th century where it was changed by eating walnuts and mushrooms? And it was then brought to North America in the 19th century where new, a new complex recipe included tomatoes. And the hint there is the name has changed over time. Question five. What is the internationally extremely popular condiment that has been made by the McHinley Family Company of Avery Island in Louisiana for over 150 years and was celebrated in a comic opera in 1894? Okay, question six is another true and false. True or false? If an American or European orders sushi, it will come with a green spicy paste called wasabi, but it rarely contains any real wasabi. Question seven is another multiple choice. Which, um, which of the following is the key ingredient in aioli? A, garlic, B, capers, C, ginger, or D, Worcestershire sauce? Question eight. This British savory food spread is based on yeast extract and has a flavor that has been described as yeasty, salty, soy sauce-esque with the consistency of old engine oil. Oh, what is God. It? <laughs> I had to include that one, right? Question nine, this condiment is believed to be an aphrodisiac in traditional Chinese medicine. The ancient Greeks used it as a remedy for scorpion stings and Hippocrates used it in poultices to cure toothache. It is popular as a flavoring all over the world today. What is it? And then number 10, This is perhaps the oldest naturally occurring substance that is still used today as a condiment. It does not spoil. There have been samples discovered in archeological digs that are still edible after thousands of years. Okay. Any questions? No, that looks good. Um, I had a thought I wanted to ask really quick. Is anybody who's not gonna be here next week want to take a uh, hook up, well, not hook up, but uh, link up with Celia so that she can send her questions to that person. They could review them so that we know that she's not going to do anything really horrible. Who's not here next week? I'm not here next week. Ron, can you exchange contact information with Celia? You really trust me to do this, huh? Yes, I do. Uh, okay. Or else you're in serious Clearly trouble. she just trusts me. So <laughs> well, we've had we've had new people who come back with some things that are kind of like, I thought you understood. No, I understand. That. It's just better, better and it's fun. What a question to ask. What? Ron. Well, Ron asking the question, do you really trust me? <laughs> yeah, I trust them because he knows if he screws up, it's not Celia. We're gonna be after Ron. <laughs> just Ron, just call balls and strikes. Don't try to influence her stylistically yeah <laughs> okay that was great let's go to our rooms jane 
I'll put the people in the rooms that are supposed to be in the rooms. And Celia, I just sent. Uh, I'm just not in the out. right room. I will take care of that. Don't say anything. Where are you? Uh, it says uh, room one, so I should be in room two. You're in room one right now, and you need to be in room two. Okay, done. Thank you. Uh, Deborah, you're supposed to be in four. Janine and Faith Romero. She, Faith Romero, they could really use you guys uh, in room three. So, so how the neighbor left in room five. Okay, I'll put. Five, really? Yeah, because two of them quit, I think. I'm not sure. I haven't been there. Okay, yeah. Um, but they've got one of the highest scores. So I should put a, I should put Janine in one. Okay. Got it. Yep. Yep. Hey, six is yeah, six is true. Number one is true. Yes. Yeah, I agree. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, food poisoning is definitely an issue with mayonnaise. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I guess almost, I'll guess D on number two, maybe. I'm just going to guess C. C? So, I, guess, yeah, I don't know. I've never I'll heard of anybody ever thing. making it. Here's the thing. No, no, oh, no. my, uh, my mother-in-law made it. Oh, did she? Yeah, but, but I mean, she's Vietnamese, so. Okay. Okay. 19th century sounds too recent for C, for me, maybe. Okay. Yeah, okay, I don't C? know, though. Oh, not true. Okay. C, okay. let's go with C. Which one? Okay. Question C. C. Okay. I don't know soy sauce is a recent invention. So a is true. Yes. So the process requires fermentation for six months to a year. I would say that no, no, that's, that's true. That, I is, just true. that true. is true. Okay. Yes. It is actually a recent invention, having only been used since the 19th century. Uh, yeah, I would say yeah. I would say C. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, that's what we got. I would say yeah. I would say C. Cool. Okay. Process of elimination. <laughs> Is three Worcestershire sauce? Yes, it is. Yeah, yeah Worcestershire. Worcestershire sauce. Worcestershire. I think that's the closest we've gotten. What's that? Here? What's that? There? Kyle just went and just copied the other word. Yeah. Number four is ketchup. Four is ketchup. So? Worcestershire sauce. Ketchup. Are you sure it's not catsup? <laughs> yeah, ketchup. probably not. Ketchup. Um, yeah, number five is um, Tabasco. Mm. Mm. Um, yeah. That makes yeah, sense. Is, yeah. yeah, definitely true. Um, pretty what sure. is yeah, I'm pretty, pretty sure, sure it's garlic. Is, I agree. I put garlic. garlic. What was six? True? True. Because true. True. Yes. it's horseradish. Never, it's true. horseradish. It's really hard to yeah, get. Yeah, horseradish. Mm, interesting. Wasabi, I didn't know that. It's very different. I don't know I what number nine. Matter me. Don't um, don't know what number could nine. It, for could it be like licorice or honest? Well, that's a good guess. Anis mm. is a good guess. I'm eating black licorice right now. <laughs> Do you by chance have any toothaches you could try it out on? Yeah. I no, was wondering but... why she didn't add, make one of the answers Vegemite. Yeah. Was Marmite the same thing? It really? almost uh, the the New Zealanders would disagree vehemently. Or not but, New Zealanders, uh -huh. Australians. It's both it's Marmite, Vegemite. They're both shite. So <laughs> well, I love Marmite. Marmite's great. I and love I think, Marmite. I think ten is honey. Honey, yes. Ooh, yes. Yeah, I, heard about that I love that. Ooh, good honey, one. Well done. Honey can last forever. A mm -hmm. scientist, yeah, right. honey, right? It never spoils. Lasts. Forever. Yeah. It's not sold. Honey is a great topic for some skeptic to look into. I get all types of honey woo woo when we go to like um farmers market type places. Do you? Yeah. yeah. What did they say? That the honey is good for everything, it cures you, uh -huh. it has healing properties. It gives baby um, botulism. It does. It does help with all of that. 
It does. And yes. uh, you can get honey for five hundred dollars for a small jar at the yes, Sydney Airport. Can. Manuka honey. Oh, I've had that before. Honey is it doesn't cost that, but it's baloney. We're not in Carolina. Well, I know we're not in North Carolina right now, duh. Anyway. No. But, but in but North Carolina, there's um some apiaries that actually will their bees will produce blue honey from some of the flowers. Wow, that they... that's cool. Well, that's yeah. neat. For question Titan number nine, uh, is anise? Would that be considered a condiment, though? I've never heard of it. What oh, is... fair no, point. It's, it's more of a spice. It's more of a spice. That's what yeah. I was thininking Because like, honey is, you know, I was thinking butter. What about peppermint? Well, oh, I thought, oh I that's thought interesting. Butter. Butter. Uh, it's a count but that's not though. a it, that's not some that's not an aphrodisiac in ancient Chinese traditional Chinese medicine. Oysters. There's some kind of an oyster base. I I thought vinegar. Oh vinegar is interesting. Yeah. Yeah, vinegar yeah. is sure, oh, yeah. Definitely. You know, so, yeah, you chips. use it for like fish and chips, especially the British. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go, let's go vinegar. Mm, stop. What do you think? We had huckleberry sauce on our pork today. Mm. Apparently, that's what they do in Idaho. Is make where, where are you guys gonna go? You're going to Idaho, and then where up to, just straight up to Canada? Uh, where um he's racing on Sunday, and then we're leaving on Monday morning to go to Glacier National Park. Where where's where's the race at? Where's this? In Cor Coeur d'Alene, Idaho, Coeur Idaho, which is beautiful. Mm. Beautiful there. Mm -hmm. We discovered that Idaho does not have helmet laws. Yeah, everyone's riding around on motorcycles without helmets. Same with uh, Colorado Whoa. when we were there. Exact same thing. South Carolina is the same way. And I'm, we had some guys that passed us, and I was just like, if you get into an accident, you are dead. Mm -hmm. Well, we need those organs, Faith. They're probably not We're willing to <laughs> donate them. I is can't. that a way to get extra organs? Is to have people ride without helmets? Yes, huh? they call get we, through. We call people who don't ride with a helmet. We call them organ donors. Mm -hmm. Sure. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Nice, healthy men. So, you guys you aren't gonna be in Calgary for Stampede, are you? Stampede is later, isn't it? Yeah, mm -hmm. that's what I thought. So after Idaho, are you guys planning on going up into? Uh, we'll be. We're gonna like show up at Adrian's house in a week. <laughs> and then what's the plan to go? How far? Uh, we're going up to Jasper. Hopefully, I haven't checked the news on the weather yet in the road. It's apparently go. better now, and everything's melting. Like I, I typical I, Alberta. Yesterday's yesterday's big huge clusterfuck with American. I was like, let's just get all the trauma and the bad juju out now. <laughs> like I have never in my like I've heard of this happening to everyone else, but it was just like 1 30 in the morning and it's like, get off the plane. We we'll find you a hotel. And I'm like, there's ladies with crying babies right now. Like, seriously. Mm. They didn't say we'll find you a hotel. They just said get off so, the plane. Get off the plane. Well, that's what they were gonna do. Wait, I missed this story. What happened? So we flew into Dallas, got our little rental car, did our little thing, came back um, during rush hour traffic and sat down, had dinner, a couple drinks, everything was cool. And then we kept getting these updates that, oh, your gate has changed. The flight is delayed. <laughs> and it just kept happening. And we ended up meeting this really cool couple that lived in Dallas and started talking to them about stuff because they were coming up to where we were. Um, and they were also going to Canmore. <laughs> so we were talking and she, she, they were telling us stuff. Um, and then finally, it our flight just kept getting delayed and delayed and delayed. And we fin they said they were going to switch out pilots. And the pilots are going to be here at 1030. And then they told us there's an 85% chance we'll be able to fly. So we're all waiting around. Finally, they let us board. It's after 12 o'clock, sometime between 12 and 1. And then as soon as everybody is sat down in the plane, everything stowed away. They're like, um, like one of the literally, literally, literally. The, the last person were like looking for their seats. Yep. They sit down and then the pilot comes on. Not the pilot, or, whoever the uh, asshole is from American Airlines. I had this is a job. <laughs> it's just like, I hate to do this. 
but one of our flight attendants is not feeling well and isn't able to, or says one of our flight crew isn't no. able to fly. Um, and considering it's like almost one thirty in the freaking morning, we can't, um, we can't get somebody to come up here in enough time before everybody else will time out. So it's like, I need for you to deboard the plane. And so I'm just like, I have been up since three o'clock Eastern <laughs> standard time. <laughs> I'm going to have a meltdown. <laughs> Yeah, people mm. were yelling. They're, they were so upset. You need I'm... to compensate us for this. And what happened? I thought you guys... Well, they got us a hotel voucher. We ended up successfully being able to use it because I was like, I want a hot shower. Mm -hmm. I want a bed to sleep in, even if it's only for two hours because mm -hmm. America's going to pay for it. And we, got, we found a lift that came and picked us up and dropped us off at like three o'clock in the morning. In Fort Worth, got into our little country inn, slept from 3.15 to 6 o'clock, got back up, went to the airport because our flight was supposed to leave at 10 o'clock. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. We finally got... There was a whole big other thing with that. Like, our tickets got changed because he was Are trying to... Are you all done, done? Deal. We're all done. Are you done? Yeah. Okay, let me close these rooms. Go ahead, babe. But he was trying to figure out, like, where our seats were supposed to be why our boarding pass and other things weren't reading right with what we were seeing. And then he got new boarding passes issued that had different seats and we were put in a different boarding group. Like, okay, maybe he's just being a complete Royal Dick, whatever. Let him, let him do his thing. We finally get on the plane. We find out why we got moved seats is because our row no longer existed on the current plane that we were on. So we got to, we got to move to the emergency exit seats with much more leg room and there was no other person with us so we could stretch out so that wasn't too bad but we sat on the runway for almost 90 minutes waiting to take off because of thunderstorms and there being 20 planes in front of us this is coming out of dallas this is coming out of dallas and i was just like you know everything's bigger in texas and they know how to fuck up stuff bigger <laughs> why than were you in else. dallas what was in dallas that's, that's america's hub american airlines that is their huge hub so you flew in to Dallas yep. because that's such a good layover. place to... We had a 10-hour layover. It was the cheapest flight. Let me just remind you, cheap. this is what cheap gets you. <laughs> well, we, got to we got to see where Kennedy got killed. That was interesting. Mm -hmm. We all got to watch it with you. So then are you guys coming back into America? Where do you come home from? Yeah, We're well leaving from Spokane. I, um, on you're gonna drive all the way across and come into Spokane and leave your car. Well, we're returning the van, and the van people are taking us to the airport. But in Spokane, yeah, in Spokane. Mm -hmm. And we're flying to Atlanta mm -hmm. and then North Carolina. No, we're flying to Salt Lake City. Then we're getting a red eye to Atlanta, and then Atlanta to home. And then my mom's picking us up. Well, so. I know people in Salt Lake City. There's a group there. If you have to stay over, <laughs> I'll well, just that you. doesn't happen. You know. Well, it sounds like fun. It really does. Nice adventure. So I, so I picked up the carpet. Yeah, <laughs> it was a fun category. It was it was different. All right, I like this. I, I'm big on different. Yep, I like that. Boy, we okay, you ready for the answers? <laughs> yep. Yes, please. Oh, I will give you the answers and then I'll put them all in the chat. Okay. Question one. I think you've got the questions. I won't read them all, um, but I hope you paid attention to the to the definition because I heard some people arguing about definitions. Okay, number one is a myth. It is false. I thought so. Right. Hey. Hey. My hey. team had already decided it was true, so I think it's some, that, some people noticed I purposely wrote store-bought in there because homemade mayonnaise, that would be true because of the eggs and so forth. But they are so much preservative in mayonnaise. Yes. It serves as a preservative, and it's probably the safest thing on the buffet, right? That's exactly what I said. That so so many preservatives in mayonnaise. Yeah. Yep. Mm. yeah okay. Mom, mom lied. Yeah. So it, you, it was true when you were doing homemade mayonnaise, but who does that anymore? My grandma. Question two: the answer is C. The other things are true, but it is actually a very ancient condiment. That goes way, way back to China, ancient China. Uh, I, I know that D is a surprise, but apparently it's true. 
That is what, what happens. They don't enforce it, but it, they are not allowed to do it legally. Hmm. Number three is Worcestershire sauce. Yay, hey. hey, team. I think you must have got that one. And number four, there was a lot of discussion about how it's changed over time. Mm. The name hasn't changed. Catsup ketchup, it's various versions of that since forever, but the product itself is very, very different than what it started out to be. And mm. today we call it ketchup. Oh. Mm. Yay, team. Julia yes. was right. I had Jamie that. My yes. team disagreed. <laughs> Jamie had it right on the That's button. He knows his kind of work. The fascinating history of the ketchup. Mm -hmm. And number five, I think the teams I saw got this one, was Tabasco sauce. Hey. That was a good one, Karen. I think you had that before. Number, number six is true. It's mm -hmm. actually colored horseradish. Real wasabi is only grown in Japan and is extremely expensive and hardly ever leaves the country. So if you want to taste the real thing, you got to go to Japan. There is a company in Sonoma County that grows the real stuff. Really? Yep. So this is this is sort of an example of a racist thing amongst them. Um, mm -hmm. So the same thing happens in a Chinese restaurant. If you get soup and they put down noodles, they will only do that if you're not Chinese. If you're Chinese, they put down peanuts because those are better. Mm. And I know that because I have friends that's from China and that's what happens when we go to a restaurant with them. They give us peanuts in the same place that we would normally get cheap. Oh. They all give peanuts. Same thing here. Yeah. And, well, for, and, and same thing with dessert, like the fortune cookie, which is if you're American. It's American. Yeah. yeah. But if you're Chinese, they'll give you oranges. Yeah. Mm. Oranges. Orange slices. I understand yeah. that there's a restaurant I was told there was a restaurant in uh, in in uh, China that has a big sign in front of it. We have genuine American fortune cookies. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, fortune I cookies heard, were invented in San Francisco. That's so. what I was going to say. I heard that they were invented in Chinatown in San Francisco, but I don't didn't know if that was really true or just. Mm. It's true. Well, if if it's not true, it's it's a good it's quite story. A story. It's a great story. Oh, no, it, it's. It's true, and it comes from a tradition of hiding messages or spies in food. But that the actual thing we call a fortune cookie. Yeah. And I heard that burritos were invented in LA. I don't know if that's true either. That's and what true. you get, what you believable. get if you get if you get wasabi in the United States is horseradish, and wasabi mm -hmm. is a form of horseradish, yes. but it's American horseradish that's been dyed green. Yeah. Mm -hmm. My my father told me that egg foo young was invented in the um in the mining camps by um, maybe Chinese people, but it was in California. Yeah, I believe but, that. Too. As, as the railroad camps. Yeah, yeah, I can believe that. Yeah, both well, because they had eggs and you know, yeah, yeah, they so. probably didn't have a whole lot of other options. And, and chop suey you know, was invented in New York City. And it was certainly the chi Chinese that built the railroads. So yeah. So number seven. The answer is A, garlic. Yeah, yeah. Aioli is garlic and olive oil and sometimes other things, but that's the mm. main thing that makes it. Yeah. I, number eight, I thought it was going to be hard, though. I think you all got yeah. it. Eight is Marmite. Yeah. 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 We and got it. It's as I, disgusting as it sounds, but it's I've never heard of it. Person actually, I like it. So yeah. good. There are all kinds of people uh, um, in this group uh, that actually held up their packages as Marmite. <laughs> oh, never heard of it. It's oh my disgusting. God. It, it, goes, oh my. it goes very well on. Jamie's toast. got it. There it is. He said it, he had it for breakfast. It. He had a good description. He said it tastes like oil. Ugh. It's I great it for gravy. Day. Make it darker and it gives it a nice flavor. Oh my oh, gosh. Oh. I'd rather oh use kitchen bouquet. Oh God, it's so gross. <laughs> it's so gross. <laughs> I, I didn't know that they put it in squeeze bottles. Yeah, it's new. I, I have it every day for breakfast. And oh, it's convenient. Just, it's <laughs> this seems to be as controversial as musk sticks. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No, musk sticks are on another level. <laughs> um, I despise musk sticks. But I, I don't know. I hate before both. Marmite any day of the week. I didn't mind the oh. musk sticks. Musk sticks were okay. Yeah, but I like right. Marmite. They like soap. <laughs> oh. Yeah, they do. What kinda. about musk flavored lifesavers? Oh, yuck, 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 yuck. <laughs> those, you those have them. It is a thing, in, yeah. In I have violet, violet uh, flavored candy. 
I like that. I, I like that. Uh, Violets. <laughs> yeah. Those little pastille things. Yeah. yeah. Mm. And number nine, I had a hard time writing clue that didn't give it away, but I think you won't get it anyway. Oh. Number nine is mustard. Yeah. Oh. oh, really? Oh, we put mustard? vinegar. You thought it was honey. Oh, wait. Number, was number, 10. Number, 10 number 10. Number 10 is honey. Oh, no, it's mustard. We thought it was vinegar. Honey, yeah, I never thought of honey as a condiment before. But... Wait, wait, wait. Well, what was yeah. That's why I gave you the definition of anything you add. Mustard. So if you're putting honey on top of your pancake yeah. or whatever, it's a condiment. Mm -hmm. Well, I knew it had to be honey because that's so ancient and mm -hmm. it never goes bad. Okay. Is number nine mustard? Yes. Number nine is mustard. Okay. In the library with the revolver. Uh, are you going to post the answers? <laughs> i got to check my Girl, list. Colonel Mustard in the truth with an ache. Fun fact, honey is bee spit. <laughs> yeah, right. Uh, so that, that was another thing. We had a discussion vomit. about how vegans can't have something because it has the anchovies in it. Oh, the Worcestershire sauce. Yeah. So if you're a real vegan, you can't have Worcestershire sauce because it's anchovies, which is a fish. And you, you also, also can't, can't have, have honey. honey. Honey, because it's processed by a bee. <laughs> The poor little bees are just being abused. And <laughs> you couldn't have had the original ketchup, but now we don't do that anymore. Because yeah. the original That's ketchup was, meal. in fact, it's still around in Asia, and it's used all the time. Now, modern fish sauce are garam now. And our modern ketchup is processed chemical crap, but vegans can eat it. <laughs> well, they gotta See, have something. Bye, Carolyn. Bye, Carolyn. I'm playing Bye. with you, Carolyn. Bye. Okay, so ready to do our scores? Let's see what we did. That was a great category, something totally different. I like variety like that. That's good. Okay, so um, let's see how we all did. All right, so we've got a range from 10 to 20. So it's going <laughs> to so we'll start with, we. I keep throwing more people on your team. We have as much color vision as an elephant. How did you do? It's been helping. We got an eight. All right. Good job, nice. team. Cool. Um, and uh, he's an, he's indicted and it feels so good. <laughs> yeah, really well, Six. Susan. Six. Six. All right. And we've got Orcas and grab a bite. Ten. And a ten. Then let's see here. Oh, down here. Add Bezos, make it a three-way cage match, and hope somehow they all lose. We got a 10. Crap. Oh. Uh-oh. Roll. Roll. Oh. Roll. The 10 for 10. Did they <clears throat> tell Trump no, he has the right we, to remain silent? Blew it on a few of them. Yeah, we seven. got seven. Whoa. Oh, oh, yeah. Whoa. Somebody's taking the lead. Better watch <laughs> out. What was question number nine? It Mustard. The answer no, was what was the question? The condiment is believed to be an aphrodisiac. I'll put it in the oh, chat. Okay. And heal a toothache. Yeah. Well, and that's, a scorpion that's why sting. I thought it was cloves. It was like, and a scorpion. Was scorpion. Oh, yes, I guess cloves too, but I thought, well, that's not a condiment. That's a no, the spice. Spice. The spice. Um, the aphrodisiacs throwing me. I got. So by, by the way, I was I was <laughs> sure. I'm glad the team outvoted me, but I was sure that the the last answer was salt. And people were. Yeah, I thought so too. That's not I a condiment. Salt, but I googled is salt a condiment? And yes, it is. It's a salt. Salt is a condiment and a spice. So, well, I'll yeah. tell you, I could have used salt, but I figured salt was a category all by itself. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And salt will go uh -oh. better. Oh, take that as a tip. Salt is just is just a comp <laughs> it's sodium chloride. It can't go bad. Mm. All right, so next up, we have, we have somebody who hasn't done a category in a few weeks, so this is Caspian. You're up, Cas. It's Susan, who was I supposed to, speaking of which? Ron. Ah, thank you. Steiner. Yeah, I thought I, I sent, sent you a message. I did send you a message. Uh, um, I didn't get it, but I'll send you um, one. Well, here, I'll, I'll just put it here in private chat to you. Great, okay. She's sending, he's sending it to you psychically. That's the problem. Yeah. <laughs> You're just not on the same wavelength, okay? <clears throat> it works for some people. Okay, I just sent it again. Okay, thanks. This time I got it. Okay. And I just sent you one. Okay, I write it down. Well, I'm pretty sure that my team so, is- uh... So Celia, you just sent me 
Oh crap! I'm sorry. Because Robin is Ron. We both live in New Jersey, so we're interchangeable. <laughs> I, I get it confused all the time. They look the same, um, act the it's same. Almost as bad as Kevin same. and Kyle. Three letters. Three. Of their Rob's name. retired, and I should be. <laughs> they both love cats. Okay, it's I'll Carl try that again. Kyle, not Kevin. Oh, that's true. I made <laughs> Now you're mixing them up. Yeah. <laughs> My son's name is We're Kyle, all interchangeable. All with a K. All with a K. All the K people. Yeah. Bye, Wendy. Wendy's having problems. Okay. Did she, you get she, Carol, Ron? She laughed and said she, you know, she yeah, her thought, Wi Fi is crashing. Yep. Okay. Okay. So tonight's next category is titled Not That One. <laughs> I'm going to give you clues. The clues refer to two entities that share the same or very, very close names. You're to tell me who we're looking for. Um, it should be fairly straightforward. The example I had, which is actually the inspiration for the category, though the answers will not be of the same topic was a daily birthday baseball team thing that I used to read and the not that one category was for instances where somebody shared a name with somebody famous like a famous a marginally famous pitcher named Mike Jackson sharing the name of Michael Jackson who so, Okay, I'm going to mute everyone now if you're ready, Caspian. Yep. Okay, here we go. Question one. He is a senator from Louisiana, not a senator from Massachusetts. Question two. He is a podcasting bro not one of the greatest and yet most obscure baseball legends of all time. Question three. She was a solitaire psychic, not the mother of a king. Question four. They were both generals, but one flew to the moon while the other was ambushed in Ireland. Question five. He gave his heart to you last Christmas, not to his cousin. Question six. These are the call letters of a San Diego radio station and not the initials of a notorious governmental organization. Question seven. Thanks to a communication breakdown, he has not yet begun to fight. Question eight. He is wondering if she is really going out with him, but at least he knows where his shoes are. Question nine. He is a British knight, not an aggressive San Francisco driver. And question 10. He was a February standard for many years rather than a weekly standard. I guess this will all make sense when we know the answers. So the answer is the other. The, the first. answer is essentially the Good name. Category. Most of these will have the same name category. or very nearly the same category. name. Okay, okay, that makes sense. It will become evident, I think, when we know the answer. Oh, very different, Cass. Good job. Oh, good. The mother of the beast that made this category is with us. <laughs> Maybe she understands. No, not. No, don't look at me. No. This, this is going to rank up there with Punch and Judy. No, no, no. We could do this. Oh, we get to have Jamie. Oh, good. We have two people who understand the brain of the Caspian. No. <laughs> no. Okay. I'm notoriously bad with his categories. Okay, let's think about this a second. Um, is it okay to share? I don't want to impose, but I have it for myself. Okay, he's a okay. senator from Louisiana, not a senator from Massachusetts. So Massachusetts, um, 
we had Kennedy, right? Yep. So the senator from Louisiana, isn't it the other, isn't he a Kennedy also? Is it Edward Kennedy? Do we need the first name? <laughs> yeah, I think so. There are a lot of Kennedys. But there is a senator from, there's a senator who's not one of the Kennedys that is a Kennedy. His last name's Kennedy, right? I'm almost positive. Okay. Well, the senator from Massachusetts would have been Ted, Ted well, Kennedy. No, I think, okay. There's a John Kennedy who's the senator from Louisiana. I think that's. Oh, I bet it's John. You're right. Because John Kennedy was a senator, wasn't he? Yeah. Yeah. All right. There was a John Kennedy that was a senator? JFK. Yep. Oh, oh, I keep forgetting his name is John. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They did call him Jack, didn't they? Okay, very good. Okay, see, we got one. We did it. He's a podcasting bro. He used the word bro on person, on, on you know, on uh, point. Bro, I thought he said pro. Okay. Bro, not one of the greatest and most obscure baseball legends of all time. Uh, the greatest and most obscure baseball legends of all time would be Shoeless Joe Jackson or in Caspian's world or um, um, not Shoeless Joe Jackson. What am I thinking of? Uh, the guy who was so fast that he could turn off the light, switch across the room and be in his bed before the light went out. His name Superman. is... Huh? Superman. What? Superman. No, no, no. It was no. one of the Negro Leagues guys. His name is very famous. Um, no, Satchel Page is one. Satchel Page. Satchel Page. But Does anybody know any podcasters? Yeah, I don't yeah, think lots of them. Um, okay, so so I'm thinking, okay, let's say it's Satchel Page. Is there a podca podcaster named Page or Satchel Page? Something like that. Oh, broadcasting bro? Yeah. Is that like a brother? I yeah, think that implies it's a certain type of person. Yeah. Caspian yeah. wouldn't use the word bro unless it was important to the clue. Yeah. So who is out there podcasting for guys? Kind of, kind of a well, jerk. like Joe Rogan? Yeah. Joe Rogan. Was there a famous baseball yeah, player yeah, named Rogan? Well... Rogan Reagan. Reagan was a obscure baseball. Um, I don't know if a Reagan. I, I the, he wants the podcasting person. So if Joe Rogan is a kind of jerky podcaster, yeah, he no, is. Yeah, jerk he is. Yeah, you can write Rogan for now. But, but that means there's a baseball legendary baseball player. With a similar well, what he's saying is, yeah, he say, remember he said a similar name. Mm -hmm. I thought it was the same. Is it Reagan similar? Or the same? Reagan started out his career broadcasting baseball games, but his name's not Joe. No, I know, but it's I don't know this. Well, okay, let's go on. We'll, we'll, we've yeah. got something for we'll now. Come back. Okay, yeah. solitaire psychic, not the mother of a king. Well, solitaire. Why does he say solitaire? Sounds like the card game. Yeah, or single. Solitaire. Solitary single. Could it have to do with diamonds? What? Could it have to do with diamonds? Mm -hmm. Well, there's. is there a mother of a king named Sylvia? Mm hmm possibly the mother of a king a famous king's mother well most of them somebody we would know Maria? well this latest king his mother was elizabeth solitaire psychic heart babe club diamond diamond or maybe he means solitary like like a, a lone a psyche that's all alone. I don't think so because it's not no. what the word solitaire means. Yeah. And and it's misspelled. Solitaire? Solitaire? Well, it's got yeah, the little red thing underneath. I, I think if it's solitaire like the game solitaire or the diamond, there's an I after the A. So if I do this, I think it's going to, yeah, the red thing goes away. Oh. 
Where did her fight go? Okay, I don't know. Unless he meant solitary. Well, he pronounced it solitary. So yeah, I don't he think solitary. he meant solitary. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Let's just keep going and we'll come back to this one. I put some question marks there. Both generals, one flew to the moon while the other was ambushed in Ireland. So which of the astronauts was the general? Oh, yeah. Michael Collins. Okay. Oh, that's good. I wouldn't have come up with that. Pull it out of my book. I gave his heart to you last Christmas. Isn't that, um, what did I write down? I wrote something down. George Michael? Wasn't he the last Christmas guy? Uh, yes, it's George Michael. Oh. What does that have to do with his cousin? It's an Arrested Development reference. Oh. Well, oh. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you, boy, I'm glad you're here. I'm useless otherwise. Oh, come on no, now. That's good. Call letters of a San Diego radio station not the initials of a notorious government. Caspian, we had a question about question three. It, the word solitaire was misspelled. Is it solitaire? The misspelling that was entirely unintentional. Okay, so you can see our screen. Do we have it spelled correctly now? I don't know. I don't know how to spell solitaire off the top of my head. It doesn't matter. The spelling does not matter. Yeah, I didn't think it, but we well, just were trying to decide if it was like solitaire, like the card game, or solitary, like being single. Alone. And you meant solitaire. He's gone. I meant a word that is pronounced solitaire. Oh, thanks right. a lot. It does not matter. Okay. So I bet it has something to do with it. Mm. A notorious government organization. And if it's San Diego, it's going to be a K. It could be KGB. Oh, oh, good, good, good. Not good. KKK, yeah, right? I like that. Or it could be KKK. No, nobody would allow an no. American station no. KKK. It must KKK, be KKK is, yeah, KGB's government. No. That's good. Yeah, KKK, I guess, isn't. Communication actually, breakdown is a song, isn't it? I'm sorry? Seven. Communications breakdown is part of a song? He is not uh, Nathan Hale? Not yet begun to fight? No, who said I? Oh, it's a, uh, what's his Perry, name? Perry, Commodore Perry. Was it Perry? Yeah, Commodore Perry on Lake Erie. Um, but communications breakdown. I swear it's a line from a song. I thought it Pop was um, some other guy, naval hero. John Paul. What's his name? Is John Paul also Jones? referencing a song? Community you know what? Maybe it is John right Paul down. Jones. Wait I thought minute. it was I'm a not song. Yet begun to fight. I think you're right. I think it was John Paul Jones. Commodore Perry was, we've met the enemy and they are ours or is ours. Oh, yeah, because John Paul Jones was a musician. And, um, yeah, but what is communications breakdown? Mm -hmm. The communications breakdown, John Paul Jones. Wasn't he in the animals? Uh, he was in something. It might animals, maybe that makes sense. Okay, he's wondering if she's going to go out with him. That's also a song. Yeah, is she really going out with him? Which is, is that, uh, Huey Lewis, Elvis Costello? No, blue suede shoes. <laughs> I think it is Elvis Costello. But what does that have to do with? You could just write Elvis, and then it'd be his shoes, blue suede shoes. Where his shoes are? Oh, blue. What's what's the deal with the blue? What's those lyrics about? I don't know. I'm not a big Elvis fan. Has he lost his blue? Sh don't mess with my blue suede. Don't mess with my blue. Whatever, whatever, yeah, blue yeah, exactly. Whatever don't you step. do, don't yeah. Don't step on my blue. The suede lyric shoes. about she really going out with him. It's a song. What song? I don't know. <laughs> He's a British knight. That could be like Sir Arthur Conan Doyle or it could be anyone. An aggressive San Francisco driver. 
So what's the nickname for an aggressive San Francisco driver? Does anybody listen for a while person. now? I don't. Why, why San Francisco? Because of the hills? Could be. Is there somebody in a movie that was a very aggressive San Francisco driver? Isn't there a famous scene from Bullet? Yeah, Bullet. Um, could there be a Sir Steve Bullard? McQueen? Oh, Steve but McQueen. There's an actor. In, yeah, and there's a new actor in Britain called Steve McQueen. He's a director. Yeah. Oh my gosh, well, but he's not a British knight because I don't think he's not a, a, he's not a British knight. knight. Yeah. Sir yes. McQueen? Wait, well, there could be someone who's British whose name is Steve yeah, McQueen. The British yeah. director, Steve McQueen. Yeah. He's a movie director. Yeah, but has he been knighted? I'm going Probably. to assume so. So is Steve McQueen the guy who was in Bullet? Yeah. Because yeah. I remember Caspian, I think Caspian showing me that scene of those people driving, or maybe it was Mark, but yeah, okay. February standard for many years. So is this Cupid? Um, is there an, is there a newspaper called Cupid or February? He was in February standard. Valentine. Um, the gopher, the uh, groundhog. Oh, yeah. groundhog. Yeah. Ooh, yeah, groundhog. Well, could that? Well, how be... does it fit with rather than a weekly standard? Well, that makes it sound like it's a magazine that comes out weekly. Is there a magazine or a book? Or a newspaper that is the Groundhog? The or Groundhog, the Valentine, the Cupid. What else is in February? Two presidential birthdays. Right. Washington and Washington. A weekly standard. standard. I don't know that one. It doesn't make sense. What else is February 4th? Presidential day. No, that doesn't make sense. Okay. Lincoln's standard. birthday, Washington's birthday. What what are names some standards like that are weekly magazines that are famous? Like um The New Yorker, Newsweek. Every week. Newsweek yeah, time, time, time. The Strand. That's famous. I don't know if it was weekly or daily. Yeah. Sunday inserts like parade. What's uh, oh parade? Yeah. Um, um. And it says he was. So that's why I was thinking it was Cupid. Well, a groundhog would also be a, a he, I guess. They always say Puxatani Phil. Phil. Yeah. Puxatani. Is there a newspaper? I mean, a magazine or something called the Puxatani. Oh, maybe so. I don't know how to spell it, folk. <laughs> the Punxsutawney Phil. Do you think it um, is in Philadelphia? Is it a Philadelphia uh, Weekly Standard? Well, it is if it matches Punxsutawney <laughs> Phil. Okay, so let's go back. Uh, oh, um, crap on it. Cracker. Okay. Well, I guess I think he's he's probably doing that because it looks like we're good. Okay. Solid tear psychic. I am almost sure it has something to do with a diamond. Not the mother of a king. Or a gemstone. You know, maybe he doesn't mean the name of the psychic. Maybe it's something more subtle. I she was a solitaire psychic. Not the mother of a king. What there's a term queen. for the mother of a king royalty. is a queen, it's queen the, regent, queen. the dowager queen or regent, queen consort, queen, regent. queen consort, consort, yeah. con, um, queen be queen. queen. The mother of a king. Of okay, a king. Mother of a king is a queen. Well, maybe it's not or, a king king. Maybe it's Elvis. What was Elvis's mother's name? No idea. But that's a good guess. You know, king, yeah. Um, king, king. How about King Lear? Who is his mother's name? Was that famous? I don't see. It's not in the play, I don't think. Oh, I've never seen it. 
um, king. It's all about daughters. Not the mother of a king. And a sol so it's either solitaire card game or solitaire gemstone. Solitaire psychic. Put down diamond in case it's, if we have nothing else, at least we have something. Diamond, somebody, diamond, the mother of a king. I don't know any psychics. Yeah. Tough one. Well, that was that challenging. Was, that was fun. Uh, that was real fun. fun. I really enjoyed that. <laughs> That was interesting. I got stuck on one of them. I'm not sure, but I think we got nine at least. We we got stuck really big on one. Eight or nine. Killing me. Which yeah, I, yeah, you're we right. Eight are or nine. Losing our lead, people. Yeah. Cool. Very cool. Now let's see if I can figure out how to share my screen while the PowerPoint is running. Oh. Oh, oh multimedia. Share yeah. screen. Then you pick that screen. Yeah. Yeah. Let's check in. Shame. It's got to be on top. And there it is. That's what she said. Oh, oh that's nice. That's I, heard, cool. I heard you, Kevin. <laughs> what is what is that? What is that bird doing? I have no idea. I found it on the internet when I did a Google image search for it. Not that one. I think <laughs> the world of that bird. Or oh, it's because birds are not real. Uh, not that one. No, that's not why. What the heck is it like? Is that like a solar that's, panel? That's, that's no, that's the moon. It's a bird on the moon, and birds oh. are not real. I mean, we never went to the moon. But there what you is go. that behind the bird? Uh, a window. The Twilight Zone. The smashers. It's that's the it? flat Earth underneath the moon. <laughs> <laughs> it's holding up the Earth. That bird could be could be the a moon, solitaire. The moon could be spherical, but you're yeah. Not. There, there is a breed of there's a. Uh, a species of bird called the solitaire, mm -hmm. which actually uh, look a little bit like that. So maybe that that's one. that one solitaire. Yeah. Maybe. All right, Cass, what do you All got? Right. Some... Question one. John Kennedy. Yay, mm -hmm. we got Yay. it. I can't believe I knew, I knew this was a Kennedy. We just put Kennedy. Is John. that a Kennedy? Cannot be Joe no. or Ted or any of the other Kennedys. Yeah, it had to be John. I completely That guy's forgot. a fake. That's not him. <laughs> He's not real. Look how young he is there. Oh. Look how disgusting the. He's the alive and living on the moon. Is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's coming back. He's in Dallas. He's going to come back. Run with mm -hmm. Trump. Question two. Joe oh, yes. 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 Oh, we had it. Oh, we did yeah. way better than I thought. I like the way he puts asshole Joe. Yeah, I, 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 he quotes. Wow. No, you don't have to put he quotes. Needs a magic in nickname. Yeah. But saying asshole Joe wrote, that's redundant. That's definitely yeah. redundant. What, what is an obscure job. legend? Good job. Oh. Uh, oh, uh, Lee, he figured out it was Joe Rogan. I thought it was Satchel Page or. Uh, yeah. No, Joe Rogan was a fantastic pitcher who also regularly played as an outfielder on days he was not pitching. Wow. Not obscure. Got a chance to play in the major leagues due to segregation. So what was the deception of having bro in there? I've That's heard funny. Joe Rogan described as a bro. Yeah. 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 You got to be that, down that, with the that that's going what down. gave it away. That no Rogan going down. should not have the platform he has. That's he's no Why one. Not? Bad bro. He's just a podcaster. He has nothing else going for him. You know. So because no, of he's bro, an MMA guy. Not true guy. at all. Because because he didn't have a Fear platform? Factor for years. Was because he? Of, I never saw Fear Factor. He was in the TV show News Radio. Never yeah, heard that's of that. That's what I remember mm -hmm. most from. He's a stand-up comedian. I don't care for fighting. He ain't funny. And he does MMA. He does MMA I stuff. I give a crap about that. The guy shouldn't. Yeah, have but he's very knowledgeable he about it. He's Did a good player. Joe Rogan. Oh, I support free speech, Susan. So I think he should have a podcast if he can maintain it. So, he has. Uh, he has uh, Neil deGrasse Tyson all, all the time. So, um, so the baseball player Joe Rogan has been so mistreated at least twice. Because he was not, you know, because racism <laughs> first, and now the poor guy has the same name no. oh, as yeah. the podcaster. Let's take back the name. Oh, Joe Rogan and make good. <laughs> I will never forget it. Every time I'm going to hear the word Joe, it, it, okay, I stand correct, and I think you guys should all take this pledge with me. 
every time somebody says Joe Rogan, you say, well, the Rogan. baseball player, oh, the baseball player. <laughs> exactly. okay, we're taking that pledge. Let's start a trend. I'm not taking that pledge, Susan. Okay, well, just you, Paula. You can be snotty about this it. Is being recorded. Okay. <laughs> you mean bullet Answers, on. please. Question three. So Cass, Caspian. Jane Seymour. <laughs> oh, of course. Uh, I don't get the psychic a, reference. A psychic Bond girl named Solitaire in the film Live and Let Die. No oh, way. Yes. Now that is obscure. No. Yeah, well, we got Seymour. it. That's that not a real obscure. name. She changed it to Jane Seymour based on Henry VIII's third wife. That is true. Good one, is, did learn. you spell Seymour? Right? Real name in here, but decided not to because it was too long. Is that how you spell Seymour? Yep. Yeah. She yeah, spells it. I never saw it spelled that way. I've seen uh, Seymour before, but not that. Oh way. man, you guys, that's really cool. <laughs> I could, I had no idea. Question four. Michael Collins. Yes. yes. Yay. Yay. That's who I was trying to remember. Yeah, okay. Becky, you go, girl. I had Michael oh, Clayton. Really okay. <laughs> because his daughter was not a general Kate, when he flew to the moon, but that's okay. Because his Kate, daughter Kate, Kate Collins was on All My Children. That's how I knew that. <laughs> oh. <laughs> she played uh, Natalie. Not that one. I believe you. Know. <laughs> the the only astronaut of the famous astronauts. I do some people who wouldn't know because they were shuttle pilots, whose hand I shook was Collins. I actually, I actually went to a Washington D.C. conference where oh. there were several people, including Sally Ride and uh, Michael Collins. And you could tell from this picture he's never washed that hand since. Yeah, uh, <laughs> and he's really tall for an astronaut. It was surprising. Yeah, he's almost as tall as the moon. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> Good, Susan. That was one of the funniest ones you said. George in a while. Michael. Yeah. Yes. 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 Oh, yes. That's amazing. Which Michael. Wait, which question was that? Wham. Five. He gave his heart to you last Christmas, not to his cousin. Last Christmas. Last Christmas. Gave you my heart. I, I don't get the cousin heart. reference. What's the cousin that reference? Is, that is from a, There's a Arrested show Development. called Arrested he was in love Development. With his cousin. Yeah. Apparently, it's a what thing. Does that have to do in with love cousin? with his cousin, maybe, is her name. Jamie says it's a meme from Arrested Development. And I've never it, seen Arrested Development, so I don't It's a know funny show, and he's he's kind of like turned on by his cousin. Uh, he's in love with his cousin. Uh, there we go. Yeah. Well, and I you need to watch that. Lust, he lusts her, is what happens. Did he grow up to be Rudy Giuliani? <laughs> <laughs> I think at first he doesn't know it's his cousin. It's Matt Damon. No, he knows it's his cousin. The, the thing is, yeah. his cousin was adopted. So, he, so now he thinks it's okay to be in love with his cousin because they are related. <laughs> okay, he was guilty down. about them being related. Don't tell me what? anymore. Six. It's perfectly legal. AGB. AGB. Yes. Okay. Yeah, I got that one. Thank you, Paula. We mm -hmm. got it. Question seven. John Paul Jones. Yes. Uh, yes. Shit. What was he in? Led Zeppelin. Zeppelin. That's right. Led Zeppelin. The American Revolution. Is she <laughs> is she really going out with him? What was that from? Is she really, really going no, that's the next out one. with him? That's the next. That's number eight. That is number eight. And so number eight. Oh. Joe Jackson. Oh, that's who Joe. Joe. I said she was Joe oh. Jackson, but for a different oh. category. That's oh. right, huh? Oh, we should have listened. Yeah. I told you Joe Jackson, but just not for this one. For a different <laughs> question nine. I like this one the best. Steve McQueen. Yeah. Got it. Yes. Oh. Oh. That one. That Gosh, was, did you was, show me that bullet? It took me a while to get that one. No, I I've seen, seen Bullet, so I've never shown you Bullet. Oh, it must have been Mark. Really one of the best car chases in all. The you know what? I think that's what it was. I looked up best car chases in movie, and I think I saw it there. It was really good. Uh, tell us about this gentleman who's a knight. Um, he is a British uh, film director. He has at least one Academy Award, but I don't actually know what it's for. 12 Years a Slave. 12 Years a Slave, yeah. Ah, okay. And is that really a cool outfit there for Steve McQueen on the left? I mean, come on, that's not cool. He has camel toe. 
<laughs> How is that possible? <laughs> he, he oh, they, see, they, they do it with the pleats. <laughs> Ten. Ten. I don't know if we got Crystal. this. One. We got oh, it. Oh. We got it. Oh. oh. I don't what, get it. What was the question again? I forgot. The Academy Awards. Host. He hosted the Academy Awards many times. He it was a February standard the for years. Found oh. nothing in it. Oh. 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 We thought it was something else. Oh. Mm. Got it right, but for the wrong reason. Yeah, we got it exactly. <laughs> really got it wrong. We, oh we thought it was because his movie played on Valentine's Day. Well, mm. also, they didn't used to be in February. We really screwed that one up. We were thinking oh, we would probably of a weekly anyway. standard, meaning mm. newspaper periodical, something came That's out what we said, day. too. Yeah, that Washington, and then you would try to Washington's idea. birthday and the Washington was in February, Washington Standard. We but put, what are we guys, what are we? Washington put? Weekly. Punxsutawney yeah. Phil. We put Punxsutawney, <laughs> we, we were thinking, is yeah. there a periodical named the Groundhog or Cupid <laughs> or... <laughs> No, that one really flummoxed us. Oh my that, god, that was got me. I was so off that the answer. I was like, "What was that question?" Yeah, yeah, that was we we weren't even close. I, that was really hard. That was a good category, Caspian. That, that was, was really great category. Thank you. Reasoning it out, category. Thank you, Caspian. I like that one a lot. Okay, so let's see how we did. Um, let's go to. We have as much color vision as an elephant. Five. Well, you guys are really doing well with those fives. All right. yeah. And he's indicted and it feels so good. Eight. I was told I have to sing it each time, which is why I'm singing it. Right. Um, and then Orcas grab a bite, which is Caspian's team. How do we do? Seven. Really? I thought we got eight. Um, now we missed three. Okay, did they forget to, and did they forget to tell Trump he has a right to remain silent? Please don't Six. Remain silent. please don't remain silent. Keep talking. I think he should be on the news every night. We took by the way, we took off Joe Rogan because you had bro. And we started thinking maybe Caspian is into the skeptical movement and watches the SGU. So it must be somebody named Novella. So we put Steve Novella. <laughs> oh, the bro brothers. Oh. Yes, podcasting bros. You ever thought that one? Uh, I, I can guarantee Caspian's never heard yeah. that podcast. Add Bezos, make it a three-way cage match, and hope somehow they all lose. Can you beat 33? 10. Oh, oh, oh. Nice work. Damn, you we guys. A genuine team effort, too. Everybody got something. So, yeah. so yeah. is it because Susan Frank's on your team? Yes. Yeah. But she got one. Definitely. That's it. That's the formula right there. <laughs> I, you know, I, I have to do my score, right? So it's seven, ten, eight, seven. I'm doing really good. Jeez, you guys. Yeah, fourth <laughs> place. I, I am doing really good. What, how much is that? Seven. Oh, wait, wait. No, well, seven, ten, eight, seven. Yeah, yeah. I'm doing really good. 17. 32. What's the score again? 32 divided by four. Eight. I'm at 32. Can I see that score sheet again real quick? Okay. Thank you. Okie dokie, Artichoke. So thank you very much, Caspian. Great. Thanks. And Thanks. Thanks, everybody. I have to go. But Top 10 Vincents in Canada. Hi, Vincent. Thank you. Name 10 Vincents in Canada. Vincent. It's the bonus round. Good yeah, night. the next category is all Vincent. Vincent. Name 10 okay. people named Vincent who live in Canada. <laughs> so I'm just, before, I, before we get to Kevin's thing, I just want to make sure everybody realizes that next week we do not have um, a bonus next week and we do not have one category filled. I can do either. I have a bonus. I have a bonus ready. Okay, so there I you go, Peggy. You're bonus. doing a category. Thank you, Peggy. Thank you, Rob. I was going to volunteer my brother. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> keep you. Oh, you're not going to be here next week. No. Ron, that is a giant cat. It's coming after us. This this is our bad cat. Oh, I have a bad cat too. Looks more like a raccoon from here. Yep. 
How much can your cat weigh? Actually, not that much. About six, 15 pounds. Mm. Yeah. The category oh, is six. What do you mean? 10 not Virgo, much? Virgo Mortensen movies, but I had to change it. <laughs> <laughs> no. No, it isn't. Modern rules. Go ahead, Kevin. Okay. Uh, category. NBC Saturday Night Live pre premiered on October 7th, 11th, 1975. The name was later changed uh, to Saturday Night Live. And the fake news segment called Weekend Update was created by Chevy Chase and SNL writers Herb Sargent and Al Franken. Many different people have anchored the Weekend Update yeah. desk. Yeah. Besides the first and the current anchors named 10 people, regular cast members or guests, that have anchored the weekend update desk. Oh, Go to your rooms. Okay. So Susan, this is a little different than the other categories. It'll make sense when you get into your room. <laughs> oh, I think I'm in your room this time. Okay. Everybody in the rooms that need to be in the rooms? Gotta go. Boom. And that that's when I stopped watching. <laughs> well, I after mean, them was uh, uh, Jane Curtin that. and... Um, oh, that's right, Gilda Radner. Yeah, well, Jane Curtin and... and um, oh, what's his face? Um, God damn it. Well, right Dan, now Dan, Dan, Aykroyd, um, Dan Aykroyd. Do, do they count as two or one? I would just name both of them because they were both co-hosts. He always did the Jane, you ignorant slut. Right. That was yeah. It was point counterpoint. Jane, you ignorant oh. slut. Yes. Yeah, so so okay. what, what was the actual title? Because with Jessica Radner, because she was Roseanne, Rosanna Dana. She, yeah, and oh. she also did the the, uh, the woman who couldn't hear very well. Oh, well, the, it was the Gar oh, it doesn't want the current. It doesn't it want wants the, the anchors, so the people who anchored it, not people okay. who have regular segments on it. Right, anchored. So, so Colin, one, Josh, two, three, four, five. No, it says Wait. they don't want the current ones. Oh. Right. Um, I um, did, yeah. did. I did. Can, I can rattle off about nine or ten here. Okay, go. Charles Rocket was uh, okay. the first of the new cast. Norm Macdonald, Dennis Miller, Tina Fey, Amy Poehler. Jane Curtin, Kevin Nealon, Colin Quinn, Jimmy Fallon, Seth Meyers, Cecily Strong. How many is that? God uh, damn it, Dennis Carl. Miller. Did you say Dennis Miller? It was yeah. everything. That's 10. Yep. Okay. okay. Well. All right. And now Charles Rocket was in there too, but he was very minor. Well, there's been tons, right? Yeah, it's been 40 years or 45 years. It was 1975, however many years that is. Yeah. Norm MacDonald was my favorite. Oh, yeah. I've I remember seen... when he got fired, Colin Quinn, the very next week, started off by saying, hey, have you ever had a bar you like to go to? And you had your favorite bartender there. And every night you went look forward to seeing that bartender. And then one day that bartender wasn't there anymore. And some other guy was there named Colin. Hi, I'm your bartender this evening, Colin. <laughs> You know what? I've only started watching SNL in the last couple of years because it was, I just never watched TV and it was on too late and I was raising kids and well, all the good was, years are done. It's not good anymore. Yeah. Well, no, I still think it's funny, but see, I don't, I only watch, if I watch it, I, I will not watch a monologue. I think it always sucks. I won't watch the music. I always watch the opening scene. And the weekend updates almost always funny. And that's the monologue is good if a comedian is hosting the show. Yeah. Like Kev, anytime, Kevin's John, hate... anytime John Mulaney hosts, the, the monologue is good. Uh, Kevin's going to hate this, but when I was a kid watching Sunday Night Live, I would turn the channel during the musical numbers. Oh, yeah. I, I, <laughs> you I know, still I did rarely see... pay attention to the music numbers. I did see uh, Billie Eilish on there once whenever she did it, and that was pretty good. That was when I was doing the category for trivia called Billy Irish. Yeah. I did did see Sinead O'Connor when she was there, but I just can't remember if they had already edited out her tearing up the picture of the Pope. Oh, oh yeah, you were on you were in the I'm West on the West Coast. Coast. Might, they might have edited that out of the West Coast. Yeah, I think I heard about it later, but I don't remember if I saw it actually then. 
Yeah, here in the central time zone, we actually got to see that. Lucky. I had stopped watching by then, so I missed it entirely. <laughs> <laughs> well, so, all right. So I get to go see Susan. The way it works is that I am, I rotate between the categories and the person who's who's reading the category, which is Kevin right now, is out. So I fill in for that person. And that's why everybody's like, oh, we're getting Susan. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or they mean me. They mean me because I, I never know anything. I Or if I do, okay, half the time that I think I know something, it's wrong. And I talk everybody out of it because- I'm If it's confident. about Agatha Christie, you're the person for the team. Well, there you go. Wow, I get Agatha Christie that nobody ever does. And the prisoner. Or Sherlock Holmes. Okay, so there's three categories I can do. <laughs> We've already done them. Or, or skepticism. <laughs> Sometimes. I did really good in the category we just had. It does has nothing to do with the fact that he's my son, but <laughs> it was interesting. I we figured it out. He did that was fun. So um uh anyway, so I fill in. So if you want to watch this video, there's a video that will be up. Mm -hmm. This video will be up on my YouTube channel. Right. We get like 10 people who view it. So you could be the 11th and you can watch all the other you watch it, You'll increase the viewership by 10%. It's, it's, a, it's a highlight. Let me tell you, it's so much fun. These people are fun to hang out with. And what I do every week is I mix you guys up. So um, like next week when you play, you probably won't be playing with these people. You will play with somebody else that you've seen. And it makes, it forces everybody to stay social and you know getting along oh yeah i love mixing the teams up you like that part yeah it gets rid of that click feel the feel of having yeah. a click and i don't like clicks i hate clicks so it feels like everybody's exactly. forced to kind of mint you know, it's always interesting it. when you first enter the room to see who's going to be on your team the only thing i don't like is when i get the same person three or four weeks in a row once yeah, in a while it happens. that does happen oh. seemingly once in a while, yeah like I had okay, two guys you. on my team like three times in a row. I'm like, oh, these guys again. <laughs> well, you know what I think happens is uh, depending on the time of the, how you enter the the Zoom room, like Carl's almost one of the first always to enter. So when I hit select, um, uh, generate the room, right. then I go and I move a couple people around, but depending on who's doing rounds and I'll move some people around a little bit. And then I just leave the rest the way they fell. So I have a feeling that it has something to do with the way you enter the room tends to put you, are you, Carl, are you tend to be in the rooms generally with people who enter the room, the come sign in early, like Jim and. Um, I wonder if it's an alphabetical thing. No. No. Who, who's usually here first when you get here? Wendy shows up early since wendy's been coming back yeah uh you guys get 10 lee? answers for this already yeah oh done. yeah we're done lee how do you think you did oh yeah i think i got 10 out of 20. 10. excellent no i should say everybody else in this group could have done if we'd have had to come up with 12 i might have started struggling i don't know any of them there was like somewhere between um 42 and 46 depending on where you Get the, I, think we're gonna, the I think there's gonna be a lot of tens on this. No, no, you're you're probably you tougher ones, Kevin. No, there isn't. A lot of people are putting the wrong answers down. Are Are you including like people who had regular spots, or just the people who were the anchor? anchored? Anchored. Okay. Not that's guests. Okay. That's okay. just that's did, did a report in the background. That's not an anchor. Right. Right. That's what I assumed. Yep. And you said there's how many possible answers? I think there's like, um. Trying to find my answer list. I think there was. Uh, let's see. I think there was thirty to thirty-six, but then was also one season they had ten guests wow. do it. Hey Susan, let me ask that you a question. Most Nathan. people won't get that. There's been so much like, happening in the news. I haven't been paying attention to this writer strike. Has, have you heard mm -hmm. if it seems like it's something that's going to be ending fairly soon or? It, the, the AMPTP has, has not gone back to any kind of negotiations. They're claiming, you know, the, the 
the thing that's out there is that, you know, WGA is, is refusing to negotiate. Well, that's not what's happening. People believe that um, they can only talk to one entity at a time, uh, which apparently is not. I thought that. A lot of people I know thought that. That's not true. AMPTE could any time go out and say, here, you know, we're, we're, we're willing to have some discussions with you again, WGA, but they have not done that. So it, it's not that the writers have to come back in. It's that, you know, the AMPTP is waiting for the writers to say, okay, we give up, which isn't going to happen. Um, because right now, um, what's today is the 22nd. Okay. So tomorrow, tomorrow, the director's guild is the, is the deadline for the director's guild vote on the, on what they have. Um, SAG is in negotiations now, so we have no news. Um, AMPTP has to go back to WGA and say, okay, these are the offers. These were where we, the WGA put out these, pages of, you know, this is what we wanted and this is what they said. And there were several things where there was no counter offer and W and AMPTP has not come back with any counter offers. So it's, it's in the, it, it's in the uh, producer's court. So it does sound like it's still too complicated. It's absolutely. It's, it's absolutely nowhere near over. They're going to have to pull in some negotiators probably to get this to. No, they've got people. They're just, they're just fucking around waiting for the, waiting for public opinion to, you know, go so far against the writers. And they're hoping that SAG doesn't go out with them because DGA is done. Pretty Isn't much. it really but, hurting the uh, industry? Not just the writers right now, but like. Um, I've only worked six days this month because of the writer's strike. You're kidding. No, all the, all the studios they can't do anything. Yeah, yeah anything it's everything not already here. written or anything you might need to edit while shooting. Or or you know it's 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 a lot can't shoot because you know it's like something might come up a script thing right. might come up. There's no yeah. so caterers are out. I at sea is out. You know, oh, really? truckers, like, everyone's out down the I line. Mean, huh? Restaurants you know that are near the studios are are hurting, but there's a lot of support still in yeah. general so I, who's I wonder, winning in this i wonder if the producers are taking the approach we survived covid we can we can outlast the writers in this they absolutely are they absolutely think, are the producers think they have deeper pockets that so they can who rest you on. got 10 seconds who's who's winning in this um nobody the producers nobody. Everybody's losing. Nobody's winning. Are they asking right for way too much for people? A living they're, wage? They're not. They're not even offering anything for mm. a bunch of stuff. There might be it's, stuff happening in the background, maybe. No, there's not. The it's AMPTP and WGA are not talking to each other, and that's the next thing that happens. Yes. That might have been too easy. Maybe. Oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, right. O only if you watch the show. No, no. Yeah. Watch right. the show. I, had, I was no help whatsoever. This but is another Ted Lasso. Rattled off like fifteen or twenty, and there I'm was there was a year when um, Lorne Michaels left and Dick Ebersol took over, oh, where God. they started having guest hosts. And I'll list those guys first because I don't think anybody got them. Edward Newman did it three times. Oh, really? A guy named Mark King did it as a character, Dr. Jonathan Lear. I don't, I don't remember that one. Don Rickles did it. Oh, oh. Did it. That must have been Williams did it. Michael Rude. Douglas did it. George McGovern did it. Oh. Bob Euchre did it. <laughs> Jesse Jackson, George Carlin, and Ed Asner. Those wow. are the guests. Wow. Now, the regular weekend Those updates. Those must have been fun to watch. The first one was Chevy Chase, but I told you you can't count that one. Yep. The second person was Jane Curtin. Yep. Yay. The You're third one, I don't think anybody got this one, Charles Rocket. We did. Oh, good. Wow. You care. Then they, changed, then they changed the name to Newsbreak, and Brian Doyle Murray did it. Oh. And Mary Gross, 
Chris, Christine Ebersol, Dick Ebersol's uh, uh, wife. said his name to put it down. And then uh, the other guy came back. Oh. And um, Dennis Miller did it. Kevin Nealon. Oh, uh, Kevin. I forgot Kevin. Norm McDonald. Yes. Colin Quinn. Oh, oh yeah. Colin. Jimmy Fallon and Tina Fey. Oh, oh, oh. Amy Pola mm -hmm. and Horatio Sands. Oh, yeah. Oh. He, he, didn't, he wasn't very good, Kevin. No, he did it because someone of the uh, uh, Tina Fey was pregnant or something. And then Amy Pola and Seth Myers. Yep, Seth Myers. And then Seth Myers and Cicely Strong. It was. No, it was Cicely we mentioned her. Cicely, and uh, then oh. Cecily Strong and Colin Jost. We lost We've your audio. Having you, you muted You're yourself muted. for some reason. And that's it. Okay. Kevin, you, you, we didn't Kevin, hear the last did several. Say Buck Henry. He did not anchor the show. Oh, damn. Anchor the news. Uh, how what happened to Dan Aykroyd? Dan Aykroyd? Dan Aykroyd did not anchor the news. That's uh, what it says on the Wikipedia. How about Bill Murray? But Bill Murray did not. He was a co-anchor with Jane Curtin. Yeah, we saw his co-anchor with Jane I, Curtin. I, I thought Jane, he was too, but it says... Slut. Yeah. I, it says yeah, he did point said, counterpoint. That's what Jane, you ignorant slut. That was, that was point oh, counterpoint. Yeah, point counterpoint. Yeah, that was yeah, point counterpoint, not the anchor. That's right. You're right. 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 Shoot. Um, Wikipedia is right again. What about Michael Che? He's Michael Che okay. and Colin Jost did it. Yeah, but he current. said that you're not allowed you to use the, the most current, current ones. ones. Right, you can't use the current ones. Oh, right, 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 right. Or the first oh. one. Bill Murray did it on March 2nd, 81. So he was yeah, he cast. Did. He said Bill Murray. Mm -hmm. yeah. I had no, Brian I, Doyle as well. I didn't see that. that. He said Bill Murray didn't do it. I don't oh. think Bill Murray did it. He did oh, it on March 2nd of 1981. Was he the host? He anchor. was the host. The anchor. No, no, the anchor. 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 Uh, I got to look at that one up because I didn't he find just on it on the my show? list. I think that's the key point there. Yeah. Okay. Wikipedia is always right, you guys. So just don't. <laughs> <laughs> We don't right, so Bill, Murray, to... Bill Murray did do it. Bill Murray did do it. Oh, oh yay. Look up Buck Henry. Look up Buck Henry, too. Okay, I got the 10 uh, by length. Colin Jost, Michael Shea, Seth Myers, Ten Tina Fey, Dennis Miller, Jimmy Jimmy Fallon, Amy Poehler, Jane Curtin, Norm McDonald. This is the longest by 10. You're going to reverse. Kevin Nealon, Colin Quinn, Bill Murray did two seasons, 40 episodes. Chevy Chase, Brad Hall was not on the original list. Cecily Strong, Dan Aykroyd. So Dan Aykroyd did do one season. Oh, um, yeah. So that counts. I missed that. Uh, Brian Dolmari, Charles Rocket, Christopher Guest. Oh, oh, yes. oh Mary yes. Gross, Gail Mathias, Christine Ebersol, Billy Crystal as Fernando. But Billy Crystal counts <laughs> if you got that one. Horatio Sands. And Joe Piscopo <laughs> did one episode. Oh, yeah. He was horrible. <laughs> Wait, did which, he uh, which, which Billy Rose? Crystal was it? The one that are the conservative? <laughs> uh, Mary Gross. They're interchangeable. Oh, Mary Gross. Thank you. I was going to say, Terry Gross? No. <laughs> you know, Not that still, one. He would have been able to do it. Kevin, still no Buck Henry on that list? Actually, nope. Terry Gross would no have been Buck Henry. Henry. Thank you. Thank I know you. he hosted several times. Yeah, and yeah, I just remembered wrong. And he created the uh, thing, wrote it, but he did not anchor it. Karen, I sent you a message. Hmm. So time for scores. I hope you guys like that one. Oh, I think it's good. Oh, it was great. It was good. Hmm. We hadn't done it before. I was surprised. Because I did the host who hosted already. Um, yeah. I, Kevin, I actually have a uh, have this list ready to go. Go. but i didn't look at it i just did it from memory but i screwed up all right so we have as much color vision as an elephant six oh yeah six all right <laughs> and uh then we're gonna go over here to he's indicted and it feels so good <laughs> yeah eight eight <laughs> get your group balls all right Orcas grab a bite. Nine. Mm. Oh. We're into the nines. We're into the 40s. 
Did they forget to tell Trump he has a right to remain silent? Ken. Uh, what? <clears throat> okay, I I was on this. Stop team. the count. <laughs> <laughs> I was on this team. I have zero help, and um, I think it's going to be high. Add Be Bezos, make it a three-way cage match, and hope somehow they all lose. And, uh, <laughs> and they the put only got score one ever. more in the first round. Well, you the know what? I ever. think that is the highest score we've ever had. And no one's Susan, ever got a perfect score, so that has to be the highest score. And wow. Susan gets <laughs> 42. Susan for the, win. the magic number is 42. Uh, yeah, always. It was all Susan Frank. What oh, question yeah. did we oh, miss in round one? one? Well, what yeah, question did we it. miss in round one? Um, you kicked ass, you guys. So uh, Puffing up these categories. These are too high. I want these to be down in the sixes now. <laughs> we managed to accomplish what you wanted. Oh, it was the movie <laughs> one. It was oh, your team, get, yeah. But I wanted. We didn't all. get the anarchists. We didn't get. We didn't get the one about the anarchists and the six children. Yeah. Which I still don't remember what it was, but it was a movie. So <laughs> here's here's how here's with my tough questions that I asked last week. Five eight, five eight, seven four, six two, and then that stupid one you guys made me do at the end because every because it was taking too long. So, hey, anybody watches the video afterwards? If you watch the video from last week, you'll see that we had an after, and like ten of us stayed, and I asked the category I wanted to ask, and and that was fun. It was really fun. You could do it again now. They wouldn't no, because they're still there. Are people here now. I can't it remember fun. it though. I remember it was something word, about the word of the year. It was a word of the year. Oh what yeah, that mean? I was thinking about that this week since about you know. Other no, words. It what is the word of the year? It Wait. was a bonus. Yeah, it was a bonus. I'm, I'm gaslighting you, Susan. Yeah, it was gaslight is the word of the year. Uh, what what is this word of the year? Who decides? It's a uh, Merriam-Webster. It's a dictionary, and they have yeah, a million. I, I, I think they, they said are. a million views a, a day. Most looked up words in their dictionary. Ah, okay. Right. So you know, what I was do. actually thinking about that category just today because um, I was reading this letter from my friend in which she used the term uh, ghosting, that she was having some conflict with a neighbor, and every time she tries to communicate with them or, I don't know, try to reach them, they're, they've been ghosting her. She's, and, and I was really surprised to see her use that word because I think of that as a pretty new one. And this is a woman who's hmm. over 10 years older than me. And I just didn't think that, you know, it was a word that at least that I hadn't heard of till a few years ago. Ah. And I always that thought is. of it in terms of young people in a dating context. Apparently she that, you know, Well, I'm sure I'm 10 years older than you and I know what that means. <laughs> well, I'm not saying I'd be shocked she knew what it mean, but she actually chose Hi, to you a <laughs> letter to me. Yeah, it is a bit of a surprise to hear people and I know what yeah, Steiners are leaving the building. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, so well, what the thank the, you everybody. Thank um, you, Susan. The, <laughs> it was nice meeting everybody. Thanks for we'll joining. Come back next week. Uh, same time, same uh, fat channel. You. I won't be here. <laughs> but when do you get we, we, we found a name for her. Her name is <laughs> non non Gerbic Susan. <laughs> <laughs> Paula, Paula came up with that. I'm MG. And not wait, I know I said this. Susan, who's not her? Yeah. Wait, what do you mean you won't be here next week? Oh. You mean the following week? Oh, the following week. Okay, I will be here next week. Sorry, Rob. I don't know anything anymore. You guys, I'm so confused about. Where stuff. are you going the following week? Magic Castle. Oh, that's right. Nice. Mark and that's I were going. Is it next week we go to the council? <laughs> and I'm like, <laughs> I don't know. It's July Fourth week. He's like, well, is that next week? <laughs> like, I don't think so. I think it's two weeks away. Oh, yeah, okay. almost well, two weeks away. I don't know. I'm not really paying attention. It's just kind of, I don't know. <laughs> Bye, you guys. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. We're going to just turn off the light and fall asleep right where Good they night are. Good and now. have a pleasant tomorrow. Ah, <laughs> have fun. Have a safe drive wherever you are. Chicken's going. gone to sleep now. I like seeing the chickens sleep. Oh, yeah, they're definitely asleep. Really That's, we really lost, we lost hey, Kevin, That's the night. Kevin, can you do that as the Garrett Morris from the school for the... Repeat for the, the top story of the day. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> Bob, Bob, tell everybody what happened uh, with your chicken story. What happened? Tell it. What happened last week? So, so I I noticed my video up on uh, YouTube started. He posted a bunch of timestamps, and each timestamp said something about a chicken. <laughs> Here I am asleep. Here's the chicken on my head. At this time, you'll see the chicken still there. And he had all these timestamps with his name on it and what was going on. And I'm like, what the hell is he talking about? And I said, what are you talking about? <laughs> and <laughs> do you want to say? Well, I, I told the story in an RFR hangout. And I said, I'll, po I'll do a post and, and give you the timestamp so you can Without tell, watching the tell whole them video. what the story is. Who missed it? I was, I dozed off. I think during round three, and my team couldn't wake me up. Yeah. So they they just let me sleep. So when we came yep. back to the main room, I was sound asleep with this little stinker sitting on my head. <laughs> so I'm, and you can, if you go to the timestamps, you'll you'll see it. I'm I'm like this, and she's sleeping too. You know, we're just. So and I, I was laughing video. and we were and, worried. And, and I, you know, I was going to say something about this. I, I can appreciate that you that you turned it off to you know out of respect and stuff. But come on. Yeah. <laughs> but, <laughs> it was she didn't funny. know she and, couldn't yeah. turn it back on. And, and and I, I know I couldn't. Yeah. Turn, you could. I, I, I could. Oh, turn look it at on. the somebody. Uh, Karen was saying, "Look at the guy," and then it was off. But I was um, like. Well, I didn't really want you to start snoring or something, you know. Uh, I don't think I, I don't think I can snore sitting up. Well, I think, I think we all will know them. someday. But it was just yeah. weird uh, seeing you there. And also, the problem yeah. was, is that you can't go to your room when you're asleep. So that would have meant if I left your video on, then you would have just been in the main room sleeping all the time. And if anybody <laughs> if he was asleep, he wouldn't have cared. Yeah, yeah, but I mean, yeah, no, if somebody no, enters, no. like Janine entered today, yeah, and she just myself. enters, and there she is looking around, and all she sees is Bob with a chicken that on it. That would have been sleep. hilarious. <laughs> I yeah. would have yeah, appreciated I mean, yeah. having the company yeah. and the you know, entertainment. You know, you know I'm, I'm, I'm always happy to get a laugh, you know, so. <laughs> There he is. <laughs> I, I wouldn't have cared. I really wouldn't have cared. It's, it's pretty funny, and I don't know why I was so tired. I I slept That's in the a third little round. Bit. And look at the chicken. Somebody pinned you. And now your chicken is looks like it's in the mouth of the dinosaur behind you. I never noticed that before. <laughs> I don't understand why your chickens will stay awake. Is it, well, they're, is trying, they're, they're in the trying to sleep. Well, that one's sleeping. No, we are right not now. One Eyes behind are open. The one, look. The one behind her, this one. Yeah, eyes are open. Your eyes are open. The beak is you. not tucked. Yeah. It was yeah. Um, I think. It's she might have been. Picture, we woke him up by picture, screaming at him. My picture's too small, so I can't tell. Hmm? So she eyes was. Oh, yeah. We can yeah. tell. Actually, in the very, my in my very early games, when I first got, I started out, I've got her, their folks. I've got their dad. The little Max, the little rooster, which you've seen, and uh, their mom. But their mom has six little two-week-old babies to take care of, and Max sleeps out in the uh, coop in the warm part of the summer. So they're like the second generation that carries on the tradition by coming over. So they're and trivia out. chicken. Second yeah. generation yeah. trivia second chicken. Second generation. Yeah. Yeah. They know as much as I do in most categories. Yeah. So. <laughs> I mean, can I can I show you something? This this really cracks me. I want to I want to hold her up to the. She won't like it. I want to hold her up to the camera. See how dirty your face is. Oh, what's going on with that? Mulberries are right. Uh. Mulberries are right. Somebody needs a bath. It, yeah. So they fall and then the chickens eat them and and their poop is this purple. <laughs> bloppy stuff that but they love it it's just for a couple weeks this time of year but huh. they just makes a big stain 
See that big spot yeah. by her? Yeah, it's a mess. It's okay. It's okay. Right, How many I'm chickens do you have? I have to, God, I have to think now because we've got, we've had uh, chicks hatch this year. And this is the first year any chicks have hatched. We've got um, 11. Now we lost a few of the ones that lived in the coop. But surviving, we've got eleven chicks plus um, plus thirteen other other no fourteen so twenty five. Well, I've got up to like twenty five. Wow, but, that's yeah. how many I have. Oh, I wanted to. I'm trying to find a home for these two because I wanted. I want to trade them for a hen that isn't their father's daughter because <laughs> yeah because he doesn't you know now he, he doesn't say oh hey he just sees a, a, a female and tries to go for it but they're too young so I had I had a broody hen she finally gave it up but now I think I have two more, but nobody's going to get baby chicks until after the wedding. So, uh, well, the ones that's a very conservative way of looking at it. <laughs> the ones out in the coop. Think about that ready. until you said it. <laughs> yeah, nothing so the, chickens have to, the chicken has to marry the rooster before you let them have babies. Yeah. So I don't very, very I, are, you, are you the master of ceremonies? You marry the chickens? <laughs> I want to tell about the, the ones that hatched out in the coop. There were, I have a little coop and I tried to make a restricted entrance. Only the little chickens could get in. The big chickens couldn't. But the big chickens got in there and laid big eggs, but they're not fertile because the roosters are too small to fertilize. So um, the the, the silky, I have two silky roosters and a silky hen. So silkies are very broody. So them and the the uh, other, the little black and white bantam, you saw her sitting up there. She's black with white spots around her head. She's the biological mother of all the eggs that hatched. None of the silkies ha eggs hatched. So I don't have any purebred silkies. They're these little crossbreed things, but they're really funny. So I'm trying to, yeah, I think that's it. So I'm hoping maybe next time, I, once they, the, hen, the babies are old enough, they'll, they'll probably try to brood. I'll try for one more batch. Uh, she started the, the coach and the, the black and white one um, has started laying eggs and I just get them and I save them. And when, they, when, the, when the silky is ready to sit again, I'll take and I'll stick, I'll give her the, the eggs that I've collected, because I've seen I've seen her br being bred with the the roosters been mounting her. So when she lays an egg, it, it's a good chance it's fertile. So she's tired. She's trying to sleep. Okay, I gotta go. I got. I got. He's stool. sleeping. He says. I do the chickens, the baby chicks, the easy way. I get day old chicks at the store. Oh yeah, no, I did that. I did that. Chicks are us. Yeah. yeah, I did that, my original flock. And then two years later, I, I got eight more. Uh, but this is the first time anybody's hatched the thing. So starting Some of with the, the ladies are better mothers than others. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, some of like Silkies are really broody. She's been trying to, to hatch eggs and their mom had tried several times to hatch eggs. And uh, this is the first time we've had any success. It's way fun. Um, can you please uh, define broody? I think I know what you mean, but oh, they 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 want to sit up. They they get a clutch of eggs and they they sit on it. They and they get really upset if you disturb them. But that's uh, not normal. Aren't they supposed to do that? Well, the breeds that are done for egg production they kind of breed that out there's always a chance that you know you'll get one that that is broody but the the varieties like the fancy chickens these are these are fancy chickens you know they're little tiny decorative chickens they're not that 
the broody, uh, the broodiness is not bred out of them. They want more, you know, they want more to hatch. So they, they sit on it a lot, mo all the entire day, they'll get up maybe once or twice a day, get a drink of water, get some food, and then they do what's called a broody poop because they've been saving it up. <laughs> so it's enormous. <laughs> you can tell. You can tell no, Karen's poop. writing this down. She's into scat. Yeah. Well, <laughs> no, it's, it's, oh. yeah, it's, it's really something. You, it's amazing how, you know, it's like, oh, that's, that's, I'd be impressed if the cat had one that big, you know? So, uh, and then they go back and get back on the eggs. But uh, yeah, they, yeah, it's just the, the state of, I'm gonna, I'm gonna hatch eggs. I'm not gonna run around I and take, forage. And, I take all the eggs out from under them, except for the fake eggs. I let them keep the fake eggs. That's yeah. hilarious. And I take the regular eggs out because I donate them to the food bank. My uncle yeah. just switch so them out. And they're not guys. fertile. They're not fertile. So yeah, I don't have to switch them out with golf balls. <laughs> yeah, my chickens don't like golf balls. <laughs> yeah. They're very picky. I have to know. With 3,000 chickens. That's hilarious. I've got three roosters, but they're too small. They can't to, reach. <laughs> to fertilize the, the large head. The, the rooster has to be bigger. Because he's got to drop his rear end. Get him down. a rooster booster. <laughs> <laughs> he's got to drop his rear, he's got to drop his rear end down and make contact. She lifts her tail up and he drops his down, and and the neighbors. My neighbor just just gave away all his chickens because he's planning on moving. He wants to start fresh in the spring, and in past neighbors and past roosters would the rooster would come over. He would you know he's got all his flock, but then he said hey more ladies and he would come over and you know um you about the but rooster? This, huh about the rooster karen what is a rooster yeah. booster a, a mini chandelier but, <laughs> but no but this last one the one he the wings one, they can't hang on to a chandelier the one he had would i'm um, just trying to figure out what a rooster booster is <laughs> ask ask mom don't ask karen his no she invented it i'm trying to tell a story so yeah. the last rooster he had, the one he just gave away, would never come over here. And if one of my hens would wander over there, because my hens consider that part of their domain, because they've always been going over there, you know. Is there a they, street they, in between? No, no, it's a big yard. <laughs> it's a common yard. And, <laughs> and so if one of my hens would go over there, that rooster would chase him away. It's like, it's another lady what do you you know he's like i got enough to deal with i guess <laughs> it's it's a road not a street kyle don't you know <laughs> no no it's just a big yard it's a big giant no, yard crossing the road why did the chicken <laughs> cross the road yeah yeah well it could attempt suicide i think they, usually, <laughs> usually they don't um um i he had i'll tell you one story he had one rooster. They have different techniques. You know, they do a little dance. They dance around the hen. And the one, the one rooster that it was the neighbors, but it stayed in my chicken coop because they couldn't hang on to him. He sometimes would do the dance backwards. He would go backwards around the thing because I caught him. I saw him do it a couple of times. Uh, then the current neighbor had a previous rooster he had to get rid of because it was hostile toward his daughter and her baby. So they had to get rid of it because it was it was mean. But he did a thing, he would leap about six feet in the air and land right next to the hen that he wanted to get with. And then he would start the dance, but it was just, it was like, hey. it was, so they have their I never own- I found that to work myself. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta give it a try, Carl. Now the joke there was I can't a joke. Tell many goes, times I've tried that. It just doesn't work. There, there was a joke that goes, "Why did the chicken cross the road?" And the answer is to get to the village idiot. And then you say, "Knock, knock," and someone says, "Who's there?" The chicken. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Who's <laughs> there? God, that was. Yeah, that's good. That's, that's uh, about wow. as good as the. Uh, how do you keep an idiot in suspense? I'll, I'll tell, tell you tomorrow. You
Play tomorrow. <laughs> well, you guys are bad. <laughs> All right, you guys. I think we're gonna go because I've All got right. I've got more stuff I've got to actually do before the end of the night. Okay, I got one more joke. Okay. <laughs> I, wait, wait. Take us out what's, on a joke, Kevin. What's the, what? What's the difference between people from Abu Dhabi and Dubai? The people from Dubai don't like the Flint the Flintstones, but the people from Abu Dhabi do. I'm glad we're recording that. I'm gonna have to click. That was a good one, though. I heard it. I didn't write Abu it. Abu Dhabi do. Abu Dhabi do. God, you know you should write for Pearls Against Swine because they have. Well, I didn't write that. I just repeated it. <laughs> oh well, that sounds like something from Pearls Against Swine before Pearls Before Swine oh, cartoon. They're always doing those mm -hmm. horrible puns like that. All right, good night, everybody. Good night. Good night. Have a great week. Stay safe. Stuff I gotta do. Yeah.